Hello, everyone. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I'm so anxious right now. <laughs> Today has been such a day, but it's okay. We're gonna get through it and we're gonna build a castle and it's gonna be fun and we're gonna have a good time. Basically, um, if you're in the Discord, you probably know, but uh, I was supposed to go to Memphis on Monday and we were gonna do a charity stream at St. Jude and we've been like planning it for months, like <laughs> since like May, we've been talking about this thing and planning this thing and it got canceled because uh, the weather is so bad and like the ice and stuff is so bad uh, and, and the hospital was like, so it got canceled. <laughs> after all this so it's okay we're gonna try to reschedule we just don't really know when yet um because you know stuff's going on and everything's busy but um yeah that was kind of a stressful thing to have happen today <laughs> um so that's no good um our, our, i'm so sorry i know a lot of you were looking forward to it because i've had been like hyping up this thing i keep talking about it um but it's okay it's okay We'll find, we'll find a time that works. It's hard because um, like my parents are coming and I, I am able to reschedule a bit easier than like my mom is cause she, you know, can't really get off work as easily. Um, and also uh, it kind of relies on when the hospital is able to do it. So it's not really up to me. <laughs> so anyway, it's just because of the weather. Um, there's really horrible uh, freeze happening across the whole country. Um, it's just really icy. So they haven't been able to get into the office like all week. So a bunch of other things that were supposed to happen this week have also been pushed and like some of those uh are not pushable you know so they have to do it like this weekend um and so i you know i'm mine is pushable and that makes sense you know <laughs> um no i'm posting a youtube video today sydney uh the problem is the sims team releases kits um right before i usually upload on youtube <laughs> so if i want to make a video about the kits i have to be very fast and it's still dan is still editing it so I will post a video on YouTube. It's just, um, it's not done yet. <laughs> um, when the kids come out, it's hard because they release at one and I usually upload at three, um, which is like, you know, that's not a lot of time to, to record and edit and upload a review of two Sims packs, you know? Um, I wasn't in the hospital, Breck. We're talking about uh, how I was going to do a charity stream at St. Jude. It's the children's hospital. Um, we were going to do a charity stream there on campus this week, but it has had to be rescheduled um, because of the weather and stuff. I'm not, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, that's, wow. <laughs> let me, um, let me show you guys what we're working with. We can, we can look at the kits. Um, annoyingly, my video hasn't gone up yet about the kits, but it will. Um, it will. Dan, it just, he's also going to have to upload it on his hotspot because now I'm streaming. So that's less than ideal as well. Um, but the two kits are the goth galore fashion kit uh, and the medieval, sorry, no, it, it used to be called the medieval castle kit. Now it's the castle estate kit. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna be trying to build something with this castle kit today. That is my goal. Um, Nightmare, I don't have any giveaway codes for these kits yet um, because they haven't given them to me. I will get some. Basically, uh, they they have like this EA Creator Network website where they like, f you know, send you the code through the website. And for some reason recently, like the past, I don't know, six months, they've been so slow with giving us codes. They haven't even given me codes for this kit yet. Like normally they would give uh, like people in the creator network a code for the packs and usually, you know, it would be there within like 30 minutes to an hour. They haven't even given me a code yet for the pack. I bought them. I always buy the kits anyway, but um, so they, I certainly have no giveaway codes because they haven't even given any creators a code yet <laughs> for the pack. They've been really slow with them recently. I don't know what's, what's up. Um, don't worry, Momo. I won't say anything bad about the goth kit. I, I know my place. And my place is not to insult the goth kid. Look at me. I just don't have a word to say about that. No one cares about Lil Simsy's opinion about goths. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Simsy goth ally. Yes, that's me, Momo. Thank you. Uh, that's what I'm known for. <laughs> anyway thank you for the 34 month reset what was it that person said i think one time i wish i remember the context better but this one time in my chat this person was like no don't make the sim goth no stop please stop so we were kind of like okay hold on Shh, it's okay chill about the goth thing 
You're being kind of weird. And then they were like, I'm so sorry to all the goths. I didn't mean it. All goths are valid. I'm so sorry, goths. <laughs> and then it was really funny. I should try and find the screenshot because that was a good time. Um, that was a good time. Anyway. <laughs> The internet is so funny. <laughs> Twitch chat is so silly sometimes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna build a castle. I don't really know what kind of castle yet. Um, I don't- if I'm being honest, let me see if I can find the picture again. Um, I was trying to figure out what- okay, look at this. <laughs> this is like a Lego castle, okay? Not a real castle. But this to me is like ideal exact kind of thing we should try to build. <laughs> So what if we use this as like an inspo pick <laughs> and we tried to build something like this in the game because I think it could work Right Yes, I can use that in my game brew needs a castle for me because brew plays the um, The I was gonna say the generations challenge the decades challenge um, and brew needs a castle. It's really important. Yeah, it is kind of an easier base than a real photo. When you look at real photos of like real life castles, I don't know, sometimes they're like not... Listen, I mean this with love. I don't know whose castle this is. I mean, they're dead, whoever's castle it is, but I don't like it. I just don't. So, Lego it is, you know? <laughs> That's your castle? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry that I made fun of it. That was really mean of me. I will never make fun of your castle again. Also, obviously, obviously, this place is gonna have a moat. We are so ready for this place to have a moat. Oh my God, update on the YouTube video, everybody. It is officially exporting and it's 40 minutes long. So if you're wondering, Lil Simsy, why haven't you uploaded yet? Well. Oops. Why do I talk so much? I'm, I, I don't shut up. It's really bad, actually. Ugh. Okay, where should we build it? What are we thinking? I don't know. You love long videos, though? Me too. <laughs> 40 minutes for kids is wild, though. I think Windenburg is- it has to be in Windenburg. Honestly, I don't know if it should be a 64 by 64 lot is the problem. But... This would not be a house if we built it on the bluffs. But if there was like, a castle... here? This is kind of cool, right? Cause this is like, and then it's it's the bluff slot type. So it's like a special venue, um, but your Sims would come out here for like parties. <laughs> I don't know, the lot might be a little small. The moat will struggle on a 30 by 30 lot. 64 is too much. This is what- okay, I'll show you. You haven't seen my review yet, because I talk too much, but I'll get it up soon. <laughs> Dan's gonna try and upload it while we're live. Uh, but this is my- I was- uh, I didn't do any windows, these are just me looking at the windows. But this is the, the shape that I was uh, messing around with from before on this lot. But there's not really space for a moat on this lot either. But Windenburg doesn't have a 50 by 50 lot. I guess it could be 64 by 64 and we could just like fill it with trees or something. Go away. This one has bad lighting, I think. So, the ocean is a moat if you try hard enough. That's true. <laughs> Little thank you for the gift of subs, by the way. I appreciate that. Um, I mean, this is a cool spot for a castle as well. Like, come on. You know, I think we need to have a moat just for the meme. If you guys have not been to my streams before, we- the moat thing has become like a serious meme in our chat. And so, I feel like now that we have this castle kit, it would be- it would be so wrong of us to not have a moat. Like, to not have a moat would be a, a waste of the greatest opportunity we've had all year. You know? 
So this will be good. Big lot will be good, I think. Okay, here's my inspo pick. <laughs> Got my uh, Lego castle ready so we can try and copy it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, Mrs. Bieber, I wouldn't say that. I don't really know what memory you have, but I don't recall a single time in my life that I was in your words, obsessed with James Charles. <laughs> That's a bold accusation. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> little unicorn and Superbia and Len and Taurus and Peter and Lolly and Little Lady and Peggy and Cotton and Cole and Strawby and Miss Moringa and China and Casey and Ghost and Dan. Thank you all for the subs. Why did Dan give me bits? Huh, anyway, I'm sorry. Thank you all for the bits and subs. I'm so sorry. I know I've probably missed a lot of things. Uh, I really, really greatly appreciate it. Um, and I think that now is a good time for us to begin. Okay, let's just start. We'll just, let's just begin and we'll figure it out, okay? I gotta stop thinking about it so much. The other problem is that I don't really know, um, oh, the lighting is bad. I don't really know how big it should be. So we'll have to think about that too. This should be interesting. We'll figure it out. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Where's the front of the lot? I think this is the front of the lot. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, what lot is this? This is the Von Windenburg estate. It's in Windenburg. It's, um, it's where that rich family lives normally, except today it's where my castle lives, so. No, Oscar, there will be a YouTube video. Oh, it makes me want to cry, the fact that it's not up yet because nonstop, where's the YouTube video? No YouTube video. No, there will be, it's just not up yet because the, it's too long. I'm still up, it has to be uploaded. <laughs> there will be, there will be. <laughs> oh, I hate that I talked too much. This is no good. It's making me feel really anxious. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we could pin that the review video is coming. It's just not up yet. Uh, nostalgic and Lick and Evelyn and Salad and Sam, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Do you think that's gonna be a good enough size for the walls on the exterior? I think so. I don't know. I should know. Hey, Cassie, thanks for the raid. We're building a castle and we just started. So you're here at a good at a good time, I would say. Um, Cause we're, we're gonna build a castle. So. What castle are you thinking about? No, we don't have any particular castle in mind. Um, we're, we're just building a castle. It actually, the reference photo is a Lego castle. Um, so that's something, I guess. <laughs> But, but there is, there is no particular one that we are trying to copy or anything like that. Um, it, it's more, uh, we're winging it, kind of, you know? Okay. Um, yeah, Legos are inspiring. I agree. I'm glad that we're on the same page with this one. Okay, I kind of want to have, like... A courtyard? Oh, that's not even big enough. I'm kind of thinking I want to have like a courtyard of some sort. Um, I don't know. You're so cold. It is cold in the house, Dan. I'm sorry. Also, Dan, earlier, like right before I went live, Sunny was in here and then she ditched me. Turn up the thermostat. No, I will not turn the heat on. You don't understand, Brew. I will not turn the heat on. I so, so, so refuse to do that. Anyway, Sunny was in here and then she ditched me. Me, thanks for the raid, hello. Uh, we're building a castle, sort of. We have barely started. This is one of those times where I have to beg you all to trust the process, by the way. Oh dear God. Okay. Um. Well, we'll see. 
Process is being trusted, good, as it should be. But do you see what I'm going for, at least? Can you kind of tell what the vibes are, maybe? I don't know. What don't you like about having the heat on? Um, I live in Florida. There's no point. It's not that cold. <laughs> There's no point. It's on principle. I've never used the heat in this house and I refuse. I reject it. Um, interesting shape. Please don't make comments about it, okay? It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. I wanna scoot this all forward by a couple tiles, I think. What is wrong with you? Okay, weird. If it's the principal, just wrap yourself in blankets. Yeah, you tell Dan that, he's the one complaining. See? Well, it doesn't look like Texas, <laughs> that's true. This time it does not look like Texas, so there's that. Um, okay. I'm trying not to waste too much space in this courtyard. I think that's my primary goal right now. Do you think this is okay? Like this? I don't know. I wonder if we could have something like I wonder if this could become almost like a bridge over the moat. Hold on. And then, I don't know. We'll have to think about it more, but that could be interesting. Perhaps. <laughs> Sophia, Levy, Chan, and Moon, thank you for the subs. This is gonna take us a while, okay? So just, again, bear with us. We're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be so good, but we're gonna have to think about it a lot. It's not gonna be a quick process, let's just say that. <laughs> and I really only know what I wanna do with the outside walls. I don't know about the inside walls. Yeah, I would probably put I think I'll probably put like something connecting these. Oh dear. Conflicting block clusters. Come here. Where's the YouTube video? It's still uploading. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to upload. <laughs> it's a very long video. Please do not panic. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be there. It's just not time yet. Dan said I should add a dungeon basement and he might be onto something with that too. Um, okay. Um, well, I was thinking with this part, the reason that I was making it flat like that is I kind of had this vision that it would be like, I don't know, all windows, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, Laura and Nat and Ryan and Flau, thank you for the subs. Okay, um, so we're on to something, I guess. This probably should be smaller though. Yeah, the bridge would have like a stilt foundation because it's gonna be a bridge. Yeah, 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 we're on the same page. Don't worry. Um, okay, how much is the castle kit? It's $5, all the kits are the same price. Um, so it's $5 for this one. Okay, um, should this be like, the inside, should it be like, no, there's no flags with the kit. There's no, um, there's no buy mode items in the kit. The kit is only build items. There's no like furniture. Um, so, no, go away. 
Um, did I already go through the goth kit? I'm not gonna go through the goth kit on stream. I don't really care about the cast kit. I don't really have an interest in going through it on stream. Um, like I said, I'm posting a YouTube video as soon as it's done uploading on the cast kit uh, and the build kit together. Um, so you will be able to see that and hopefully that. This looks terrible. I might need to come back to the middle. Maybe I'll start working on the exterior more so I can get a vibe. And then once we have the vibe, we can work on the interior more. I don't like the shape of the main castle building. I only like the walls on the outside and that's not what we're trying to do, is it? Um, tall would be cool for a castle. Well, so the, the first floor is tall. I kind of want the second floor to only be short on purpose so that this part is short, but it could be medium, maybe. Maybe. Um, maybe a less wide second floor. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. I'm not, we're not taking comments about the second floor at this time because I don't know what I want it to be like. So, did I see the weird bug the hood from the goth kit does to the Sims eyes? No, I haven't seen it myself, but I've seen people talking about it. Um, yikes. <laughs> I have seen people talking about it. Um, Aren't those walls supposed to be walkable? One tile wide is walkable. Your sims can walk one tile wide. Also, um, for us, for our purposes, they do not need to be walkable. <laughs> We're not gonna put like doors to them. Um, so I, we don't need to worry about that too much. Um, also, I'm not gonna put the reference photo up because I don't even have it open anymore. And it's Legos. It's Legos. You can picture in your brain, clip art castle. That's what I'm trying to build, okay? So just keep that in mind and then it'll be fine. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm liking the trim. I think that's kind of cool. I think that helps. You can tell what we're going for a bit more now. Um. Okay. Okay, I think that this part, because this part is gonna be over the water, I'm probably gonna have some sort of stilt on it, but I don't really know what yet. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it. So just stop, we don't need to think about that part yet because we're gonna redo the moat too, okay? So nobody panic about that. Because that's also gonna get redone, okay? Um. Okay, I can see, I can see my vibes. This will be fine, it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna give myself some light too, so I can see. Do I think I'll play in a castle or just build them? Um, I don't, I don't really have any personal motivation to play in a castle, I don't think, but I don't know, maybe we'll see. <laughs> Mostly I just want to build, like kind of my main inspiration is just to build, I think. Um, okay, so I'm trying to decide how I wanna do this. Here's another clip art castle, you guys, just so you can understand what I'm trying to say. Wait, this is a clip art castle. This is what I want the interior middle building to look like. And I'm not joking. <laughs> this is what I want the middle to look like. <laughs> That's the inspo photo. <laughs> Do you understand now why I'm saying I'm not putting that on stream? <laughs> um, okay, I wonder if we should have like another set of, cause I kind of like that. Okay. Build a ceiling, please. No, not the floor. Oh my God. Remove ceiling, build ceiling. Okay. Something sort of along those lines is what I am picturing at the moment. No, the kit has no flags. The kit has no buy mode items. The kit is only 
build mode item. So there's no furniture. It's all like fences and stuff. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with this. Bigger towers, maybe? You think bigger than this? I was going to put a big tower potentially up here. But I don't know. Um, yeah, I stream it this time every day, uh, fair. This is my, my, uh, everyday stream schedule. <laughs> I am always live at this time. Uh, except on Wednesdays when I'm live in the morning, but that's not helpful to answer your question right now. <laughs> I am pretty much always live at this time. <laughs> except when I stream on Wednesday mornings. Um, do I see the kit being versatile for non-castle purposes? No, not even close. Really not even close at all to that. Um, oh my god, now they're all yelling about how it's tight between the arch and stuff. I know, guys, we can always move it. <gasps> Tiny! Hello, Sunny! You being here is so helpful. This is a fantastic distraction. Here's a tiny kitten, everyone. She is um, about seven months old. And you can't really see her eyes. Because she's like a little void. But this is Sunny! Okay, you can go on the desk if you want, but be careful with the monitors, okay? Anyway, <laughs> that one's sunny. Goth fashion kit, goth cat, you know? Exciting stuff, she already left. <laughs> it's because I picked her up. But I had to show the people it was important. See? She is very tiny, I know, she's so little. Um, she weighs less than seven pounds. She's only small. Will I add horse stables? Maybe, everybody has been like really spamming about the horse stable thing. Um, it's been a frequent topic of discussion. <laughs> um, so maybe, it depends how, how we do the layout of the moat though. I'm not really sure. Um, kind of depends how it goes. Your family that lives on this lot has one horse, no pressure. Okay, bro. <laughs> I will keep specifically your needs in mind. That's my main goal here, is just to make sure that Bruin can use my castle, you know? <laughs> Beams, funny, Eli, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Basement for nectar. Oh, some of the other people keep saying basement for dungeon. Um, you're saying basement for nectar, they're saying basement for dungeon. I don't really know where that leaves us. Um, but the kids are out, Crag. There's no early access for kids. Um, they they just come out and then they are out. <laughs> um, in fact, uh, they didn't even they didn't give me a code for this kit. I I bought them. So um, both nectar and wedding venue, or sorry, not wedding venue. No, that's chat saying that both ne nectar and dungeon is what they're talking about. Um, Maybe. I'll think about it. I will think about it. Um, I did record a YouTube video. It's not up yet. It's still uploading. It's, it's uh, hard the same day to upload these things. Um, it, you know, is a long video, so trying to post it same day is a lot, especially because the kits only came out a couple hours ago. <laughs> okay. Um, go away. There we go. Well, this is not really speaking to me, I must say. I might put these up high. I don't know. I should make a castle wedding venue one day? Maybe. I'm not opposed to that. Um, I don't know. What if you had a bigger courtyard? I know everyone hates the courtyard. We can mess with it more in a minute. <laughs> Guys, we're still experimenting, okay? I know you mean well, but like everybody's like, the courtyard's terrible, make it bigger. <laughs> but we're not done, so we're we're trying to figure it out still. We're messing around with, with spacing and stuff still, so it's really okay. We don't need to panic about stuff like that. Let's one step at a time, you know? Um, I might need to make these taller, but even then is too much. Um Anyway, no one means any harm. It's just like <laughs> Everybody is like suggesting like 15 different things for 15 different parts of the build all at once. 
<laughs> and I'm still trying to figure out how the generic shape should be. So we can move things around and like adjust spacing and stuff after we figured it out more. Um, we just haven't really figured it out yet, so. And no, I haven't saved a single time. So I should do that too. Um, okay. Okay. I think we can work with that a little bit more. This is giving us something, you know? We need to figure out like a cool part for the middle. Um, but I don't really know how that should be yet. It is in Windenburg, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is in Windenburg, yes indeed. Um, didn't expect to be a real castle? Oh, it, we're going for like castle with this one. <laughs> we are definitely going for real castle. Uh, at the minute, so. Okay. I think this is cool. At least I hope this is cool. Um. Is there more floors available so the gamer isn't maxed out? Um, you'll be able to make yours a little bit taller than this. I don't really want mine to be too much taller than this, I don't think. But if you wanted yours to be taller than this, you could. I need to put something in the middle. Make the back a U shape. We could maybe do something like that. Um, I don't really know how I want it to be in the back just yet. Um, thought we were going to Lego Castle. Well, this is similar to the Lego Castle. I mean, we're never gonna copy it exactly. I was just trying to, when I show you guys those reference photos, this is why I don't put reference photos on my stream because people see that and they're like, well, this doesn't look like that. But that's because um, for me, the reference photo is like a, here's the idea. Now let's try and take those vibes and build something bigger with it. Does that make sense? Um, I was never planning on trying to copy it or anything like that. Um, There's a lot of different kinds of castles, so. Uh, Flopsy and Rosie and Megan, thank you for the subs. Um, you want me to play Sims Medieval music? I don't know if the Sims Medieval music is on Spotify or if it would copy strike me. I don't think it will. Okay. Now we got castle vibes. <laughs> Actually, this feels right to me. I like it. Okay, this is very symmetrical. I don't know if it's good or not this way, but we shall see. Well, maybe I should go for like a different shape. Immaculate vibes. I, I love the Sims Medieval, if you haven't played it. Um, she's a weird one, but it's worth trying if you haven't done it before. <laughs> I think you would probably like it. Um, okay. Wow. I'm kind of scared. We should play it again? Oh, I have plans to. <laughs> I'm planning on making a YouTube video about Sims Medieval in the next like week or so. I don't know when exactly though. Um, okay, so it would become something like that. I'm picturing under here. Yeah, you can buy Sims Medieval on the EA app. Sims Medieval is a spin-off of The Sims 3, so it runs very similarly to how The Sims 3 runs, which is bad. Um, <laughs> uh, but it is a beautiful game and it's, well, it also, it's, let me remind you also that it's a product of its time. Um, it is a very old game, um, and some of the things that they do in it are kind of, you know, um, yikes. Like some of the, the dialogue and stuff is maybe not what I would want it to be doing and saying in today's day and age, um, but just as long as you're prepared, you know, um, it is, it is 
unhinged, I think, maybe, is a, as some might describe it. You can uh, sacrifice your enemies to a pit monster if you want. So that's something. <laughs> you can also woohoo the pit monster. Yeah. So that's something too. It's fun. <laughs> can we build the Sims medieval castle? Oh, I hadn't even considered doing that. That could be a fun thing to do for a stream, is try and recreate the Sims Medieval one. Obviously not today, because we've, we've gone too far, but that could be fun. Hmm. Okay. Interesting concepts we have here, everybody. Um, is that? Oh, no one- I'm like sitting here wondering why it's not symmetrical. Because you didn't put it in the right place. Silly. I'm not very smart. Okay, there we go. Now it is. This music is scaring me. <laughs> I feel weird. <laughs> I feel weird with this song. Listen. Are we at church? I don't know. It fits the vibes, though. Okay, I'm wondering... The reason I did this is because I wanted to have... I don't know, like, a potentially slightly sunken courtyard down there. So... We'll see. It is giving church this music. <laughs> Oh my. It's the Sims 2 or Sims Sims Medieval soundtrack. This is called The Eyes of the Watcher. So it's I think they're trying to make Sims church music. It literally is called The Eyes of the Watcher and the Watcher is like God in Sims Medieval, right? So we're we're correctly assuming <laughs> The Watcher is you, by the way. You are God. Do with that information what you will. <laughs> is this a spoiler? No. <laughs> That's just the way that it is. Oh dear. Oh, okay. It fixed itself. That's good. Thank you, game. Build ceiling. Okay. There we go. That's nice, right? I don't know if that's good, actually. Is that for the pit beast? This is the pit for the pit beast, yes. How did you know? <laughs> There's not a new world with this. No, this is, um, it's only a kit, so it's never gonna have a world with it, unfortunately. Um, it is just a kit. What is this? Humble beginnings. Wow. I don't know if I see about this one. <laughs> it makes me feel, it's like, it's making me on edge. <laughs> I don't know about this song. <laughs> I don't know. It's the vibes though, you know? It's what we signed up for. This is giving castle in like a slightly ugly way, but maybe once I put some wallpaper, it'll be better. We can like mix and match the wallpapers. So we have like some of the dirtier ones too. And it's gonna be all one color mostly. Oops, that's in the wrong spot, obviously. We are building with the new kit, yeah, at the moment, yeah. Uh, in case it wasn't clear, this is in fact a castle. <laughs> it's your first time catching a stream? Well, hello, thanks for coming by today. Um, hopefully uh, you enjoy your stay with us. Stay with us is a weird way of describing that. Sorry for saying that, but you know, whatever. Welcome in. 
I don't always play creepy medieval music. This is sort of a special occasion. Just in case you were concerned. <laughs> don't want you to be worried, so... <laughs> okay. Well, that's being annoying. Oh, this is more my vibes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you to it for deleting my stuff. That's not what I wanted it to do. There's not any new roof texture with the kit. No, I was kind of disappointed by that. Um, I was expecting there to be a new roof texture, but there is not one. Um, there's, there's a new wallpaper, there's new flooring, um, but there's not a new roof texture. Guys, I think it's a little bit... I think the castle itself is kind of ugly. You feel like you should be doing a little dance. <laughs> yeah, this song is called um, A Royal Reception. So you were, yeah. IRL castles are uglier. Fair enough. Yeah, we're playing Sims Medieval music, yeah. <laughs> Okay. From the front, it looks very castly. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if this part should have a roof or if this middle part should be a fence. I don't really know. Oh, well, it's not even that bad, actually, I would say. Maybe I could extend it outward just a smidge. Something like that. And then we get the roof on there. Okay. There is a floor tile from the pack, yeah. Wow. That is a lot. Video is up? <gasps> the video is up, everybody! <laughs> it only took an additional 43 minutes <laughs> after I went live. Um, I'm refreshing until I can see it. There we go. The video is up. If you, were, if you were concerned and or curious, the video is uploaded. Yay, I can link it for you. Um, oh, she doesn't want me to link it. It's like not loading right. Okay, here we go. Try again. Share. Copy. Here you go. Oh, Dan beat me to it. Never mind. Dan's got the link for you if you're wanting to see it. Um. Okay. I think I feel okay about this. I am sort of feeling like maybe there needs to be more... This might be, like, entirely too much, okay? But I am kind of feeling like maybe there should be... What if there was, like, a bigger tower? on the roof or a tower on the roof I don't know this is kind of middle it's exactly in the middle I don't know if it's gonna be good or not okay that's not very big Oh, <laughs> whoa, that's ugly. Maybe bigger than that? Maybe I should do three tiles wide. Okay, what if it was like this? medium wall height or something on there. I don't know. Um, remove ceiling. Wow, we should still be doing a little dance. The Dashing Young Falconer. That's what this song is called. You think no pointy roof on it? Oh, maybe it would be okay if it was just flat. 
like with a fence. I don't know, this is kind of, it's very busy and it's kind of ugly, but also a lot of these old castles are. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. I like that shorter actually. Should it be even taller? Um, let's, let's keep it like this for a second so we can look at it more and like soak it in. And once we've stared at it more and we have windows, maybe it'll start to come together better. You know, I think we just, we need to have like the windows and stuff for it to, work. I don't know, change the roof texture. Yeah, once we have a different roof texture for these two, it'll be way better. I don't know what exactly. Something like that, though. Like, once we have some of that in, it starts to... Because that'll ma match the wood and the doors. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't really know what we're going for with this. Okay, so it has gotten rid of my beautiful freeze. Come back. Go all the way around the sides. Oops. You think tile roofs? Maybe. I don't know if I wanna put medium walls on this third floor. I was kind of feeling like that was too tall. But I don't know, maybe I will. We'll have to decide. We can always think about it more later too, once we've got the windows in, because everything's gonna start to fit together better once we actually have windows. Like, look, that door, all of a sudden, things are working, you know? Um. Okay. Okay. Are the dragons kept in the basement? They should make a dragon pack. For The Sims 4. <laughs> I know people want fairies, but what if they just scrap that and they make a dragon pack instead? Hey, Zeph, with the 58 months, thank you so much. These are beautiful windows. Also, this side has better lighting. Maybe I'll face it this way so we can see it better for now. That helps. Let me scoot this back a bit. The better we can see it, the better lighting it has, the better I feel about it. Let me save again too. Okay. <laughs> back up for the 39 month resub. Ooh. All right, this is the little window. Shall I use the little one like here? so it doesn't cut into my walkways. What are you doing to my freeze? Oh my God. Really? Is there a reason that you're... Okay. Visual glitch, we're fine everybody, don't worry. It's fine. I wonder how we're gonna do the layout of this build. I'm so curious about like how the floor plan is gonna be. <laughs> we probably don't need to have like that many bedrooms either, I would say. Um, Cause we want it to be like primarily for the, for the royal family, you know? Are you placing that on like the inside? Why? It like doesn't want to place on the, oh, freezes are so annoying. Ballroom, ooh, ballroom could be fun. It's actually not that big, the building itself. Yeah, I know it's missing foundation, don't worry. It's gonna be nonstop trying to fix all this. Um, Matt, plus life for Maddie, thank you for the subs. Um, 
Okay. Oh, that looks cool with that different kind of trim. Do you think? We can add some extra decoration perhaps this way. Okay. Castle restaurant. If this were a restaurant, that would be wild. <laughs> Um, there is a new foundation. Yeah, we're using it on this. There is a new foundation. It matches the wallpaper like pretty perfectly. So Yeah, a restaurant's cool. I've also seen people talking about um, Like throwing out wedding venue suggestions and making like a castle wedding venue and that is also a cool idea um, however at this current time in my life the idea of building a wedding venue today feels quite stressful to me as I am actively dealing with that in real life. <laughs> Maybe once things calm down a bit more. <laughs> okay, I like it with the columns on the edges. That looks good. I think that helps. Me and Dan yesterday, we took, uh, I, I call them engagement photos. Truthfully, they are not engagement photos. We, you know, this is, been there done that I guess that was a long time ago that we got engaged but we took like we took like engagement photos with like a, a photographer yesterday um so that was interesting I think it went well I don't know I have a couple of the previews but I don't know if I should show them to you yet I don't know but I think they turned out really well I was really nervous I felt like I was gonna I was like I felt kind of ugly and I I felt like really self-conscious and stuff about it um, but the photos actually turned out way better than I expected. So I feel good about that. Show the mods. Maybe I will. I won't show you them yet. Maybe I'll show them soon to everyone else, but I'm not, I don't think I should show them yet. Um, but anyway, <laughs> exciting stuff. I like that window there, right? Maybe, maybe one small window on this front part. Maybe turn. Okay. Where is that placing? Okay. Does that seem okay to you for like some of the front windows on the castle? Okay. That's the biggest stained glass window. So we could use that at the top of the tower. That might be kind of cool. This is Sims Medieval music, yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we felt like it was appropriate for the day. Could that be a door on the second floor? Yeah, I mean, it could be a door on the second floor. Um, I don't know if that's better or not. I'm not really sure. We could do that though. Um, I'll probably put a big fancy door there. Maybe I'll have- should that be a balcony? I wasn't really picturing that, but... Put a toilet at the top! <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> Dope! Scarlet Taylor, thank you for the subs! Um, okay. Okay. I have saved a, a bunch of times, don't worry. I'm not- I'm not worried about the saving situation. Yet. Okay. Shall I do it like that? Shall I do the small- Those don't fit on this short wall though. I guess that's fine. Honestly, the windows are like really helping it come together. It's starting to look more like something, you know? Now that we have some windows on the exterior. Whoa, that's big. I guess we just do these little windows in the towers. I think that's so cool. Should they be like staggered?
What's the patch of grass for? I don't know if it's gonna be grass. We're probably just, we're trying to have like some sunken space. I don't know. I think that's cool. How do I do it? Should I have them? Okay, that one goes there. Maybe you go. That's the lowest it can go. Okay, that is because of the different floor placements. That's like the bottom of that floor. Do you think it's okay like that? I think that's kind of cool. It implies that there's like stairs in there. Obviously there's not because it's The Sims 4 and you can't do spiral staircases, but it makes it seem like there are stairs in there. And I like that about it. Okay. Oh, that's cool. No, they didn't add spiral stairs. Um, you guys, they didn't add, people keep asking if we got like a new world and stuff. <laughs> they didn't add any, anything like that. This pack is a kit. It's a $5 build kit. Very small. There's no one like groundbreaking uh, game additions like that or anything. Um, it's only a small, small build kit. So nothing like that, unfortunately. It would be cool, but um, no, we didn't get anything, anything like that. I think I should use these bigger windows down here. I think that's fine. I like it better from the inside. Do you think it's worth the money? Um, I think it's worth the money if you like building in The Sims. It, it's a very specific kind of person that would get use out of this though. Um, not everybody, wants to build stuff like this, you know? And if that's you, then I obviously it's not worth the money if you don't want to build stuff like this. Um, if you like castles, then you are probably the target audience for this one. <laughs> if you don't care about castles, um, then this one's probably not for you. <laughs> um, there's not clothing in the castle kit, no, because it's just a build kit. Um, there, there is a goth fashion kit that came out today as well. Um, but that's not this. Unrelated. So, Faith and uh, Diamora and Sing it or Shut It and Sim Mom, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, what's this gonna be? A house? I think so. I'm leaning towards a house with this. F fancy mansion. We'll put like a library and stuff in it. Okay, on this part. Um. I'm trying to figure out, should it just have like small windows down the wall? Cause this is supposed to be a wall. We don't want it to be like, we don't want them to be able to break in, you know? For protection of the king. Something small like that. Turn the whole island of Windenburg into a medieval village. Oh, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. That's a good idea. You should do that. Can Stanley be the king? Can the king be pulp? <laughs> um, I think that pulp is God. But divine right to rule and whatnot, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Both? Okay. <laughs> um, castle estate kit. Let me put this stuff. This is the new flooring, by the way, that comes in the kit. I'll probably use that largely outside. I don't really know if I like that or not, but it's happening. God backwards his dog. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. Guys, all of a sudden it makes sense. Have you ever wondered why they call Pulp a dog? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Everything's starting to make sense. Should I use this stone everywhere? I don't know if this is like entirely too much. I think it is kind of too much, but maybe in a fun way. 
I don't know. I kind of like it. Wow. This is a castle. It Pulp is the sim dog from a legacy challenge. Yeah, you see this like really creepy face that's being spammed in chat? That's Pulp. <laughs> Sarah, Melissa, West, thanks for the subs. Yeah, once we have stuff, like it'll it'll start to look better once we get some like furnishings and things outside. Um Okay. Oh wow, I really like these windows. I wonder if I could use them like along the side of the building. What do you think about that for the side? I guess it depends where, maybe it, hold on. Let's leave the sides unwindowed for a second and we'll do the floor plan first. Cause I might, I might want to change that based on how the floor plan ends up being. So I'll leave it and then we can, you know, update accordingly. Well, the pointy ones on top is what I would have done, but the pointy ones don't fit on top because it's not tall enough. So I, that's what I would do too, is put the pointy ones up top, but the, they're too tall for that. Um, that's what makes more sense. Yes, I agree. <laughs> However, <laughs> welcome to The Sims 4. No, you haven't missed the code giveaways. I don't have uh, codes for this pack yet. Um, they will give them to me on the creator network, but uh, sometimes it takes, it says your game code is pending. They haven't even given me the code yet. I bought the pack. They usually give creators like a code so they can play the pack for free. They haven't even given me my code yet, let alone giveaway codes. Um, so unfortunately I don't have codes for this pack yet. I keep checking, I keep refreshing um, while I'm live, but unfortunately not yet. Um, but anyway, hopefully soon, hopefully soon. Okay. Oh my God, it's lagging. Listening to this soundtrack while you work tomorrow. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Good, uh, good work vibes, you know? Okay, I think what I'll do is this and then have, we can put some landscaping in there, which will be fun, hopefully. We're talking about that, uh, Fulp. We've been talking about potentially trying to build a medieval castle. Um, we have had that discussion. We think that would be kind of fun to do. Um, so I think maybe we could do that. I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but. I'm into the concept. I really like this kit. <laughs> I like this more than I thought I would, if I'm being honest. I didn't really realize that I was gonna find it this fun to um, build myself a castle. But I'm enjoying it. What kit is this? It's it's the new castle kit that just came out today. Um, it's a, uh, what do they call it? Castle estate or something? is the technical official word. It's the castle estate kit. Okay. Yeah, the windows are really pretty. Um, so I shall use these pretty pointy windows. Do you think I can do like double pointy windows on this part? I think so. Okay. Um, and then if we wanted to do more turrets, windows, how should I have them be? I guess it should just keep going like around the building. Oh, maybe I don't have any on the bottom floor. I don't know. Let's do the floor plan and then we can think about where the windows go. We'll figure this floor plan part out first. Uh, Mad and Meg, thank you for the subs. Okay, so we've talked about wanting to have a dungeon. 
that is an uh, important discussion that has been had. Um, so we'll want to figure out some way to have dungeon access. Um, but maybe like through the walls, not in the building. Right? Um, oh wow. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> Whoa. Um, we want to have a library, we want to have a ballroom. All these things are important. Detach through a shed outside. Yeah, we could maybe have, I don't know, we could just, we could put the stairs, like, in the wall to get into the basement. We'll see. Um. Everyone also keeps saying to add a horse stable outside, but the problem is, we've taken up a lot of the lot now, and I want to have a moat. So, okay, I'm basing this off of some of my Sims Medieval castle experience, and in the Sims Medieval, there's like, you sort of just walk straight into the throne room. So I think I might do that here, too. We can enter into a throne room sort of vibe. Where are my stairs? Here. Um, I was initially thinking that having staircase on either side would be good, but that means the throne room is very small and you can't even walk through here. So maybe no throne room in, with the stairs like this. Or the stairs could be in the sides. Oops. I don't know. That does cut into my ballroom area. So... I don't know. Okay. Um... So we want to have a- oh my god, the sound of the Sims Medieval music is making me- I can't think straight. Sorry everybody. <laughs> I want to have a platform for my throne. Here. In the entrance. Throne room and ballroom combined probably isn't too bad of an idea, now that I think about it. I kind of want to have the throne right when you come in, though. That's probably not enough space. Needs to be backed up. Maybe to like there? Looks like Mickey? Oh no. That's not my intention. Shortcake, we still don't have the code from EA. You can't buy the kit codes for this pack. It's like not possible. And I still don't have the code from EA. So you have not missed any giveaway yet. Because we're still waiting until they give me a code. So don't worry. You've not missed anything. <laughs> If it makes you feel any better, um, there is no- there is no code yet. Um. Oh, that would be cool, though, if we could get this, like, long enough. Okay, it's playing Jesus music again. This is called The Eyes of the Watcher. It's not actually Jesus music, it's The Sims. <laughs> but it feels like Jesus music. <laughs> Um, it's Sims Medieval Religious Music. It's not just the kit and base game. I'm probably gonna use some other packs in this, but I haven't decided what and where yet. Oh. Do you think it being long like that is a problem? Well, first of all, it's not centered. That's like the exact length of the room, which is could be either good or bad, depending on how you look at it. I don't know. How to do the outer walls? Oh, they're just walls. It's uh, it's like a one wide room for those outer walls. Oh, you know what we could do in here? That would probably be so cool. I'm not gonna use these turrets, I don't think, downstairs. My game is lagging a lot, yes. 
Um, I might need to close and reopen it. Here's an idea. We get like some cool... Columns going all the way up. Maybe. Whoa. Okay, fancy entrance room. And then... On this side of the castle... I'm thinking that, I guess, I guess this could become the throne room and ballroom. I don't know. Side doors to the back? Well, okay, so here's the other, I guess that's another idea, is if we really wanted this to still be the throne room, we could have, like, a platform here. And then, oh, I went to manage worlds. Maybe this is a good sign for us to close the game and save it. Um, we, well, Amethyst, uh, I'll show you the two references that we were looking at. Here's the first one. And here's the second one. So when you ask the question, do you have a reference or are you doing this like freehand? I don't know if these count. <laughs> um... As, as a reference. <laughs> One's Lego, one is clip art. Um, but, you know, you can get the vibes, I guess, a little bit from this. It look, we, we copied their outside walls, so. Okay, I'm gonna close the game and then reopen it, because it's being a little annoying, so. Cilantro, thanks for the seven month resub. <laughs> You're making goth sims right now to fulfill your angsty preteen self. Nice! <laughs> Anything can be a reference, exactly. But when people, I think when people ask, like, oh, do you have a, re a reference photo that you're using? They're usually expecting, like, more, <laughs> you know? You've used dollhouses as references before? Yeah, exactly. You get it. You get it. <laughs> Most of the time... I, like, I had this picture of a clip art castle in my mind, but then I pulled one up so I could show you guys. And that's what I was going for. <laughs> yeah, Get Together has some flags we can put on the roof, yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay, come on game, let's load in. We'll try again. But there's not any flag items from this pack. Um, this pack doesn't have any furniture, it's only build stuff. Exclusively build stuff. Uh, vampire lasagna, Ezra, and cilantro, thank you for the subs. Well, while I'm trying to get this to load, um, do you think I should show you guys what I'm trying to pick? Maybe I can show you one of the photos that me and Dan took yesterday. I have to pick which one is fine and okay to show. Um... I can't decide which one I feel comfortable sharing. Oh, this one seems okay. Okay. Let me let me get this one. Okay, ready? So if you guys missed it, me and Dan took uh engagement photos yesterday. <laughs> engagement. <laughs> um, but uh I'll show you this photo. This is one of them. Oops, it's not loading. Here's one. Now I feel nervous. That's cute, right? Yeah, like save the date photos. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll show you, I will uh, tell you who took them as well. Um, her name is Sydney. Sydney Mormon Photography is uh, who did them. And I shall link her website for you if you want to go see. Um, but anyway, yay. <laughs> There's a lot of cute ones. I don't know how many I should share online though, but... Me and my husband took engagement photos. Yeah, but the thing is we never took any actual photos, um, like cause of uh, just like the timing we, you know, all this happened like during COVID and we had this weird like long distance thing and, and with the visa. So we just didn't really have like a traditional, we didn't ever do that. I probably should have, but I didn't. So I wanted to, um, and now here I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, look at it from Manage Worlds. Whoa. 
<laughs> you also took engagement photos after already being legally married. Yeah, see, Momo, you get it. <laughs> Are you guys Mormon? No. The photographer's last name is Mormon. Not like the religion spelled with an A-N. Um, no. Not Mormon. Um, if you heard the word Mormon and, and uh... No, not me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Carolyn, Allie, Doodle, thanks for the subs. Okay. Um, should there be like a staircase up to this throne? Is there a throne? Oh my god. You guys, we have a new plan. I forgot how big that was. I knew Get Famous had one. I didn't remember how big it was. Oh my god. Okay. That's fine, right? It has to be. I've decided. Um, F5, raise these up a little bit. Okay. Do you think it's okay if that covers one of the windows? Remove the two columns closest to it. Do you think? I'm okay with the columns being there still. I don't know about this. I do want to have windows behind it though. Is it functional? No, because I size it down. I think it's fine to cover the window with our fancy throne. I think it's worth it. I don't think that they're too worried about it, you know? I think all they care about is having a fancy throne, so. Was it ever functional? I don't know. I never, I've never tried. Um, all I know is that it's definitely not functional now. <laughs> I don't know if it normally is or not though. Huh. Okay. Potential with these sconces. Cause they're kind of like candle-y. You don't think it functions? Oh man, that's okay. I'm not really surprised by that. <laughs> so it's okay. Um, it's not for a playthrough or anything. We're just building this for fun. Um, I, I really truly do not have anything in mind for this. <laughs> this is solely just because the castle kit came out and I wanted to build with it. <laughs> that is the only reason. Um, are you asking if I'm playing Glee music? No, um, this is, uh, what we're playing right now is actually the Sims Medieval soundtrack. Um, this is a song called The Dashing Young Falconer again. I need to get a chandelier. We have some, these are very bright. There's a lot that have, that's even like maybe a little tall. That could be good for where we have maybe like an opening over the staircase though. Oh, you know what we could maybe do is line up a few of these in a, in line with the columns. And that might be okay. Did you say glee music? I don't know, somebody asked that. I don't think they actually think this is glee music. Maybe they do. No way to be sure. Okay, we'll get like some knight statues and stuff too. In gold. Right? No, the new kit is only build stuff. There's no furniture, it's only build stuff. I actually am so glad that it's only build stuff and not furniture too, because I was so worried that they were gonna try and fit furniture into this kit, and then it wasn't gonna have enough to actually do a full build with. Like there wouldn't be enough windows because they tried to prioritize having like one single chair. Um, and that's not what I wanted. So I actually am really glad that it has no furniture. Yeah, like the Courtyard Oasis kit kind of suffers from that problem, I think. Oh my God, this is so, 
so funny. <laughs> okay. I don't know. We can always come back to the lighting. We gotta figure out the layout still. So we wanted to have a ballroom. And I'm leaning towards the ballroom being over here. I wonder if we could put, like, a really long table in the ballroom just for now. Like, what if we had, like, oops. We, like, put some things together and make it into, like, a banquet hall. Because then we can, we can rearrange where the staircase goes a little bit. Because the staircase is where the king is going to try and get up there. You said ballroom and your mind went straight to ball pit. Oh. Well, that's certainly an idea. <laughs> oh. That's too much. Should I like close this off? Um, a throne room part two, the bathroom. <laughs> That's also gonna be important. I don't know how much I want to do with this. I don't really know what I'm going for just yet. Um, I do think that I want this to be open to the downstairs. Something like, oops, a little bit more. Oh, good. Thank you for that. I'm gonna fix the freeze at the end. I actually cannot bring myself to deal with that right now. It's not worth it. It's not worth messing with the freeze at the moment. Um, okay, so this room, I assume that they would probably, like, maybe they would move stuff around in here in our little banquet hall for, you know, whatever they need at the moment. Maybe it's a banquet, maybe it's dancing. Maybe they can move stuff around a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm checking you guys. I still, the game code is still pending on the EA website. I don't, they haven't given me the codes yet. So I can't do a giveaway of the pack yet because it's not out. This happened last time with the kit too. I don't know what's going on because prior to like recently, they used to give us the codes for the kits and for all the packs, like basically instantaneously. And now they're like, maybe wait 24 hours, maybe don't, who knows? And they don't tell us. Why? I don't know. Anyway, hopefully soon, hopefully soon. Um, I'm thinking in this room, I want to have an entrance to, oh, that's horrible. Um, I'm leaning towards putting a basement and a, I just don't know where I want the staircase to go for the basement, but I'm leaning towards putting a basement because we have a couple things we want to have down there. The first thing in the basement is that we want to have, oh dear. The first thing in the basement is that we want to have uh, access for the staff so that they can have a kitchen down here. And then maybe some sort of um, living quarters. Put a ladder in the turret. We could put a ladder in the turret, that's true. I can see prime subs, Andrew. I can see prime subs. I can see all the subs. Thank you for the resub. Uh, Rochelle and Shelly and Swell and Arista and Bella and Jane and Lol, thank you for the subs. I usually read them kind of in waves when the stream is really busy like today. Um, hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, okay. Um, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking, Fireheart. That's what I was trying to say is I want to put the kitchen in the basement and then a small living quarter. And then also I want to have um, a dungeon in the basement. So. But I'm going to have, the dungeon is going to have access 
I'm betting I'll probably have like hmm oh that's a platform not a basement one two three four I don't know yeah, the floors come in some dirty and mossy swatches too. Yeah, we'll we'll mess with the swatches in a bit. Um, I'm still kind of trying to figure out how I want this to be. So, oh, that's too big. Um, I won't put any uh, other swatches on the stuff until we're doing coloring at the end. Okay. So. This is where the basement will be with the dungeon. So we'll put a door like here. Oh my God. Of course I deleted my freeze. We'll try and fix it. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do it at the end. I just can't, I just can't deal with this game. Oh my God. We'll, we'll get it, we'll figure it out. It's gonna be fine. Maybe they can't have a freeze on this side. Who knows? Depends where it all wants to be. That has a freeze there, but we'll worry about it at the end. Anyway, dungeon. This is where you access the dungeon from. Um, so, maybe, should the dungeon be like really small? I think so. Maybe like two that are like this size. Okay. And then we can delete this too. Okay, so there's just two little dungeon sections. Um, and then we're trying to think about where to put access for the servants. Maybe the servants access could be from out here too. Like maybe this, to get to the kitchen, what if you have to like come out here <laughs> and there's like a staircase here into the kitchen. Attic is historically accurate. Yeah, we're trying to stick the kitchen in the basement though. We're not trying to be like the most historically accurate. I'm trying to like shove things in the basement. Servants? Well, it's pretend, but someone's got to run the kitchen, so. I think you're overthinking it. Um, okay. Anyway, so they have, maybe they could have doors like that. The That's really weird, but just don't look too closely at this part. Would it make sense for it to be near the dining room? Um, yes, but also no. Because I think they want it to be far away on purpose. So, the answer to your question is both yes and no. They have to come around. You know? This is old. It's medieval. We don't have fancy kitchen access. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing that maybe food will get cold. Yeah, but it's medieval times. We're at medieval times. There's going to be jousting and everything. <laughs> anyway, I <laughs> mean, girls rock magic. Thanks for the sub. Um, okay, so in here... I think I shall put, let's do the kitchen like in this area. We'll have a very small bathroom. And then this will be our access through this hallway into our little uh, bedrooms. And they'll be like, maybe long and skinny like this. Okay. 
I think we'll finish today. No, probably not. It's really big. We'll probably have to finish furnishing it tomorrow. Um, okay, so what we're looking at right now, let me let me catch you up to speed again, okay? Um, these, all three of these are bedrooms. There'll be like one bed and like a dresser in there, small. This is a bathroom, tub, toilet, there's a toddler potty chamber pot, but I feel like I probably shouldn't use that because we want it to be functional. Um, but <laughs> um, then there's just a hallway, you know, that you would access. And this is how you get into the kitchen. Do we want to have this fancy door? I don't know. And then the bathroom is shared between everybody. Okay. And then there's also staircase access directly to the kitchen as well. What if our royal family was only toddlers? Oh, there you go. Um, we probably want to have a smaller door, but I kind of want to use the new door as the problem. And then these, this is the Earl's door. That's way too fancy, much too fancy to be in the dungeon. But do you think we can make it work in the dungeon anyway? Just like for the vibes. Cause I kind of want to. Somebody said we should put hay down there. And it reminded me that this is like, oh no, it's too small. Well, I could size down the horse bed. Dungeon? Maybe we could use like the really dirty swatches down here in the basement too. Like that. Oh, the wooden stool from Jungle Adventure could be good too. Okay. Um, Jungle Adventure, they can have like a little stool. And then maybe a bucket. That is disgusting. Eco rundown bed. Oh, I wasn't going to give them a bed at all. Who should the, we should put like, maybe the gnomes are who we keep in the dungeon. We keep this alien in the dungeon. And we keep... Maybe we try to capture the Grim Reaper and put him in the dungeon. Let me out. No, what if we got... How... Isn't there the, um... What is it called, you guys? It's from Get to Work. The, like, model, human body model or whatever. I always forget the exact name of it and then I scroll past it multiple times. Is it called Skelesim? I don't think so. And is it anatomy something? It's in the middle, you say. I'm not talking about these. I'm talking about the skeleton. It's a reward from the, oh, here we go. Skelly Sim, it's called Skelly Sim. What if this person is like standing right at the door, like, let me out, and then they died that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's perfect. You just died in the corner. I'm picturing piles of bones, but I think the piles of bones that I'm picturing are from Animal Crossing and not from The Sims. Cobwebs, oh that's good. We can add some spider webs into the dungeon too. Jungle Adventure has um, s 
uh, skeletons too, but they're not the same really. Um, there are piles of bones in Jungle Adventure. Oh, are there? I'll be the judge of that. Show live edit objects. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> Bewitchin and, and uh, Ryder and Yee and Emmy and Girls Rock, thank you for the subs. Jungle Adventure. Okay, we're looking for piles of bones. There's also like big cracks if we wanted to put any cracks in the walls. I don't know. Okay, now we're in debug. This is the skeleton I'm thinking of, um, which obviously I don't wanna, really wanna use that one. We can't be giving them weapons. <laughs> that doesn't seem safe. Let me know if you see it. And then there's these, but they also have a spear and that's not good. Oh. Well, maybe it looks better without the, I don't know. I think the hay is funny though. No, there's not gonna be swatches of that cause it's only a, oops. Um, there is, this is a rain chain. I saw someone in chat suggesting we add chains. This is not really the same thing at all. I don't know if it's worth adding. This is the only chain that I can think of in the game. Maybe just a little hay. We could do dirt and then put a little bit of hay. Cause there should be the little hay rug. No, not that. Raise up the hay. I tried that, it was too high. Raised up. This is meant to help, the hay is meant to help with the smell. So, maybe that's good. Let's just call it for now, down there. <laughs> Lady, thanks for the 32 months. You think the chain worked well? Oh, do you think? I'm not opposed to just putting it, just to have like, I mean, honestly, just to have like something else in here, even if it doesn't make any sense. I don't think it's a bad thing to like try to put another item in this room. Um. Oh, the chain could be interesting for our if we're gonna try and do like a drawbridge thing, I don't really know what we're gonna do yet, but we should save that just so we don't forget. Okay, that's our dungeon. So then the servants quarters are down here too. We have this room, which maybe becomes the library. I think I could see that working. We can just put some books in so we can like mark that. But this could be a nice library. We fill it with books, cause it's old. And then upstairs, I guess potentially this becomes a room. And then all of these. Um. Library second floor, oh you think? Room for butler, no they live in the basement. They live in the basement. Um, I don't know how to best do this. I'm thinking that we're gonna wanna split this into a couple bedrooms probably. Oh, you meant two floor library. I guess that's not a bad idea. 
It would also be cool if it was open to the throne room instead. But the problem with that is that... I mean, there's a wall here, so we would probably have to, like, rethink this just a bit. Um, but maybe that gets open like this. Oh my god, it's the scary music again. Oh, these can't be... That doesn't really... I don't think it works, to be honest, with it open to that. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, it's like a good idea in theory, but it doesn't really work in practice. Now people are saying to open this and have the library be two stories. I'm going to fix everything up there, but. Um. This is maybe interesting if we open it up somehow. I don't really like how that is looking. I don't know. I mean, I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think it makes any sense. It's like we're just doing it to do it. We also need to figure out, let's figure out how much space we have for bedrooms up here and then we can figure it out. Maybe with the arch. Well, I don't like the arch because it's too wide for this. That was kind of my thought process behind it at least. Um. Okay. Idea with this. Uh, well, maybe, hold on. Maybe we end up closing a lot of this off. And then this becomes a fancy bedroom and they have like a really fancy bathroom. And this is like the main primary suite. And then this is the secondary bedroom. And maybe they have like a small bathroom or they have none, no bathroom. There is a third floor, I forgot about that. Oh my God, this is a disaster. Go away, everything. Hold on. I need to figure out where to put the staircase. The fanciest bedroom should go up on the third floor, I think. Um. This music makes me uncomfortable. It's making me feel like genuinely weird. I don't like it. Okay, so maybe the... Is that the best you can go? Oh, oh, I have to leave that wall. Kitchen on first floor. No, they have a kitchen in the basement. We're not trying to make... The, the king doesn't want to see the kitchen. I think that's what we have to keep in mind, everyone. Like, remember who our target audience is. He doesn't want to see the king. I mean, he does He does want to see the king. He is the king. But he doesn't want to see the kitchen. That's not his problem. You know? Can we turn the music off? Mm, we can skip this song. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> okay, they have a bathroom up here. This gives us like four rooms for guests on the main floor and only one small bathroom. And it's actually lucky that we have that. Remember it's medieval times, we don't have plumbing. And then the primary bedroom. Okay, this fancy suite, I guess. Um, maybe I'll do it like that, I don't know. The primary bedroom is gonna have a collection of things.
like maybe this is their bathroom. The king has like a sitting room when you first come up. That's kind of like that. And then you go, okay, hold on. And then you go through like chambers. Okay, it's like medieval times and you know, these old castles where you go there and it's like everyone can come into this sitting room, only some into this sitting room and then more into this one. Well, that's the private bed chamber. No one's going into this one. So it's behind like multiple doors, extra private, basically. Queen and king chambers. Oh, bold of you to assume that there's a queen and a king. I think there's just a queen. I know I keep saying that there's a king. There's not. There's just a queen. It's my final decision. And I don't think that, I don't think that she wants to marry on purpose. Okay. Need hidden rooms for the servants to circulate. Yeah, I, we're not gonna, we're not trying to make it the most realistic, perfect thing ever, you know? Um, we don't need to worry about just like too many specifics like that, I don't think. It would be fun. If we were, if we had set out like when doing the floor plan to build a more realistic building, it would be different, but. The servants can teleport. You're so right, Bruin. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> I don't like that part, but that's okay. Um, okay, so there's a bunch of bedrooms. One is nicer, two are smaller. And that seems good to me. Um, the royals could probably up here if we wanted to. Oops, I deleted it. But up here, they could probably have doors and like access this roof space. If we so desired to have a cool balcony thing. And that could be kind of fun. Okay. I, I can see it. The queen's too busy jumping in puddles to get married. <laughs> Rip Lizzie. You know? Okay, I feel good about this. This seems, this seems right to me. Everyone is suggesting a lot of like formalities of things that maybe you would find in real life, but I don't really know if I care to add into our Sims build, by the way. Like all this map room stuff. I, I just, I, I would rather have guest bedrooms and then call it a day. No, it's not really access. Um, we're, we're just playing uh, with the pack that came out today. No early access or anything. Um, the pack is out. No one gets early access to kits. Um, the, the difference is that they uh, can give early access normally to Sims packs um, on the day of the update, but they don't really care about giving anybody kit early access. So they just don't. <laughs> um, so anyway, no one had early access to this one. Okay. So I scoot these down a bit so they're lined up. That's cool. I like that. This is a really weird sort of house. Like, functionally, gameplay-wise, it's actually gonna be kind of annoying for you, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, having done this now, I'm like thoroughly impressed that we're using a kit and we've managed to get like this much done with it. Um, I, I sort of expected for the kit to be a lot, I guess just a lot less usable. I don't know, I just didn't think that the windows were gonna be enough. I, I had all these visions of the kit being like not good, but I actually think that it, this stuff goes a long way more than I expected it to. So that's a good sign. Um, okay. Oops, that's too low. Oh my God, too much. That's too low too. There we go, like that. Is 
Is that centered? What am I doing? Center. Okay, sorry everybody. Are those the same? I think so. I'm staring at it too much. Okay. Okay. Let's try and put some more of the windows around in all these little places where I'm trying to put them on both sides. Castle apartments builds? Oh my goodness, I hadn't even considered something like that. That would be kind of fun. <laughs> it's like an old castle, but it's been split up into apartments now. You may or may not have just bought The Sims Medieval. I, I'm glad that we could be an influence on you in this way. I hope that you enjoy it. Okay, I hate this. I may have to use a different stair railing because that's just not gonna cut it. Do I see myself using this kit a lot? No. I see myself using this kit when I want to build a castle, which, I mean, let's be real with ourselves. I'm not going to build a castle all the time. But it is fun for when you want to build a castle. So it has that going for it. Um, okay, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna try and take these and put them, you go there, you go there. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to get these in the right spot for I distract and confuse myself. Okay, those are too low, there. Okay, yeah, you could also, if you wanted to do like a, I don't know, some people might want to build like an old church or and all kinds of things like that, you could definitely use this to do that if you so desired. Um, I don't know if you do desire to do that, but you could if you wanted to. Um, or like an old university. Oh my gosh, imagine building like the Brightchester Library over again and doing something like this, like really old looking. <laughs> that might be kind of cool. I also have been considering redoing Vlad's house and like rebuilding the vampire house with this. Um, I can show you guys the throne room again. I'm using, it's the Get Famous throne, size down. Um, I haven't like fully furnished this yet. We've just kind of put some generic stuff together, but that's kind of the vibes that we're going for. Um, cool. Very, very, very cool. Okay, let me put also the brick in these sections before I forget. I don't think I'll make myself use the stone stuff everywhere, but I'm not opposed to doing that. I, I think it's kind of fun, if anything. The goth house as a castle. Well, I think that the land grabs should also own a castle. I think that the land grabs, like their family probably has a castle from a long time ago. So, okay. You know what else we have to do? Is put the lot back to the correct front and then figure out the moat. So let's start there. Your gay kings of the land grabs? Really, bro? <laughs> that message out of context is amazing. I'm glad for them. That's awesome. Yeah, or like the Von Haunt estate would be cool to redo as well. That kind of stuff. Um, Okay, so I was thinking about, we wanted to have a moat. I don't know exactly how I want to do this yet. So, you know, just bear with me, I guess. But I know that we wanna have water around the outside of the building. I feel like I'm not that good at this sort of thing, obviously I'll redo it. It's not gonna be done like this, but. Um, then there would be like, under the bridge. Well, I was picturing this part being more of a, I mean, I was gonna have the bridge be in a different area, but I guess if you guys want this to be the bridge, we could do this section as the bridge instead. I kind of had a different vision for the bridge placement. I was gonna try and mess with this and do something, but I guess we could use this like a bridge instead. 
I don't really care. I don't know. I just don't like how that looks with the fence. You know? Um. Okay. Um. Modes aren't known to be pretty. No, <laughs> exactly. Um. I don't know, but that, if you guys want that part to be where the bridge is, we could do that instead too. Kind of just depends. <laughs> guys, now is so not a good time to argue with or, or call me silly for my decision to not let people talk about Harry Potter in my community. You sound silly saying that. I'm sorry I'm gonna come down hard on this one, but you need to understand that there are a lot of folks here who are deeply, deeply hurt by JK Rowling and what she says. JK Rowling is a horrible person who does horrible things and says horrible, vile things that are so invalidating and evil to so many people in my community. You can go one day without talking about Harry Potter. It's literally so easy. It, my mods are not silly for deleting it, okay? It's so easy to just not talk about something that is hurtful to people. If people tell you, hey, this thing is hurtful, I don't wanna hear about it. It's really easy to be like, oh shoot, yeah. I won't talk about it here then. You can talk about it literally anywhere else. I don't care, but I just, it hurts people and it's not worth talking about here. I don't even wanna have to keep talking about it out loud. I shouldn't have to keep addressing it, but like people don't wanna hear about that woman. So just ignore it. Anyway, <laughs> please, please just, it's not that big of a deal. It's so easy to not discuss. Um, anyway, um, That's really deep, what I've just done. I don't know if I want it to be like that or not. I'll probably soften it, I guess. Oh, it's lagging so much. It'll be cool. It'll be cool. I don't want it to be like, I don't know, it can't really be exactly a circle, I guess, cause it's on this lot, it's kind of a weird, shape. Okay. Well, I probably would have had more space if I had scooted it forward before I did that. Is that gonna ruin it? No, it did not. How am I getting the stone and grass? Um, that's just because of the, when you lower it, the lower you go, it puts stone as like the texture of the uh, ground here in uh, this world. We're in Windenburg right now. Okay, let's soften this terrain. Just a smidge. Oh my God, it's lagging so much. Oh, I softened it too much. I don't know if that's good or not. Well, I'll see what this fills in with. And if not, we can make it deeper again. I don't know. That's not good enough. Okay, come here. Let me through. I don't like doing terrain. I find it really hard to make it look not bad. Every time I try and do it. My stuff on the gallery? Yeah, I post all my bills in the gallery. Um, all of them. Okay. Um, this one obviously is not on the gallery yet. It will be, but not yet. Um, I say that because I always, whenever I do builds on stream, I get a lot of questions that are like, can you upload it right now? <laughs> like half done? And my, my answer is always no <laughs> to that. <laughs> Cause like, I don't really want to upload a partially finished build, you know? Um, oh my God, I ruined it by trying to smooth the terrain out. Okay. Come on, through there. Okay, that one's, that's really deep. reach the edge of the universe or something. Can we make it wider? Yeah, I can. I'm trying to see how it looks first though. 
Um, I just want to see what it looks like before we change it too much. Um, cause I actually think that like with the water in there, I don't even think that that's too bad. Like that's kind of cute, you know? Um, and the water would be like, probably kind of gross. So I'll, I'll want to like smooth it more so it's not jagged on the edges, but that's kind of what it's going to look like. I think. There's just some parts of it that have like kind of yucky sections. It's just being so laggy. Use the leafy water, please. You think the leafy one is better? I always think the leafy one looks so bad. Because the texture of it is kind of weird, I think. But I know that's like a me thing. And not everybody always thinks that. Um, only if you have a lot of trees. Yeah, we can. I mean, if we have trees, the leaves don't make as little sense. But the problem with the leaves, I think, um, is more just that the texture of it doesn't match like anything else in the game. So I don't really like the leafy texture. That's like not my fave of the textures in this game. Uh, JRD, I'm usually live at this time. I go live at four o'clock Eastern time um, every day except for Wednesday. Um, so um, I'm live in the morning on Wednesdays. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm usually here around now, four o'clock Eastern time. I don't know where you live, what time it is for you, but about two hours ago. Um, okay, anyway, this is the leafy one they're talking about. I don't really like it as much. To me, it is not as good. I kind of want to use like the stinky green. Um, okay. Um, once there's landscaping, maybe it won't be so bad. Do you want to try and landscape it now to see if we can get it sorted first? I should probably, I mean, should there be more of it? The more you raise the water level, the more jagged it gets. But welcome to The Sims 4, I guess. Is it fully furnished yet? No, <laughs> no, not even close. We have loads of furnishing to do still. Um, much to add on still. Um, Okay. Okay. I think Jagged looks fine. Okay, that makes me feel better. Because I always, that's part of why I don't like to do ponds and stuff in this game. Is because I always think that when the water is jagged, I think it looks so bad. And that I'm doing like a terrible job of it. So hearing you say that you think it's fine being a little bit jagged is very reassuring to me. Should we do some like fancy? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. I don't know, something like, I don't really know. Jagedness is very real. Okay, that's good. There's not a new lot type with the kit, no, Maria. They, they never add stuff like that um, into kits. Um, the kits usually have way smaller scope than that. One, two, three, okay. Um, one, two, three. So the kits usually only have a handful of items. Um, okay. I don't know, to summarize, do I enjoy the kit? I'm, I'm having fun with the kit. I, I will again say that it's like, this belongs and probably appeals to a very specific set of people. Oh, did I lower that by accident? Uh oh. This is probably interesting to a very specific kind of person, and that's not going to be everybody. Um, so it's just important to like keep that in mind. You know better than me if you would have fun with a, a castle kit, you know? Um, I think it's fun to build stuff like this, and I'm having a good time, but you might not get use out of it. So just um, keep that in mind, I guess. Um... 
Okay. Cool. Build something like that for the entrance. Should there be like... I don't really like how this looks. Maybe I could do this with like a stone color. I think the wood is not really... I don't like it. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm playing Sims Medieval music right now, if you're listening to this and wondering what the heck is playing in the background. It's the Sims Medieval. Um, we could potentially make this entire bridge wood. But that was not the vibes that I wanted um, when I was building it. This kind of gives it more of like a drawbridge sort of vibe. Um, but that's just not really what I was going for, I guess. Um, but maybe it would be cool, I don't know. Because we can't really match the stone exactly, so we have to just like make do with what we have and what we can. And this is kind of what we have with the wooden bridge. And that's maybe okay. Um, and like, I guess ideally you'd be able to like raise and lower this or whatever. Um, but you just can't really do that in the Sims. <laughs> that's just not really how it works here, you know? <laughs> Um, I, I think I might like it. Let, let's keep hold of it and keep working on it because it might start coming together the more that we work on it. You know? Okay. Um, is that the right height? Yeah, okay. Okay. Thoughts on the leaks. What, was there a new one? I don't wish to think of that. <laughs> if there was a new one, I don't wish to think of it. Um, unless you're talking about just in general. Um, I don't know, this is okay though. I think it's, I think it's working. I don't think there were more leaks. I, we would have heard about it if there were. Um, I don't think that they're talking about anything from today. I would be very surprised, at least, if they were. Oh my god, I don't know what to landscape. Hmm. Windows in between the trees. Yeah, I had done the windows um, before I put the trees in. So I don't know if you think it would be better to have them be more central, now that we have trees there. Um. Yeah, this is what I- okay, so what I'm struggling with is like, do we do this kind of overgrown? Or do we go for like, very formal, fancy landscaping, like, topiaries and stuff? That's what I'm kind of unsure of. Um, I don't think I want to put vines across the building. I don't think that's really what I'm envisioning for this. I'm sorry, I know that's gonna be very disappointing for some of you who've been spamming about vines all day, but I don't think I wanna do vines. At least not this time. Um, I might try and put together like a little box around some bushes for myself here at the front. But like really formal, I think kind of makes sense. Maybe. I want to do, I would like to do an overgrown castle build, but probably not this one. You know, um, like we can, we can save that for a build in the future. We don't have to do all the things today. So, um, okay. So I was picturing something like that. Um, and then they would have some 
Oops. Oh no. I'm silly. I forgot that it's... Hedge maze with a fountain in the middle. I hedge maze isn't gonna fit. We have actually, considering how big this lot is, you'd think we have more space. We don't have enough space for a hedge maze here. Um, it's actually, I mean, when you look at it, like a lot of the lot is all filled in. So that's literally what I'm planning on building tomorrow for my YouTube video, Ayla. Is <laughs> like I wanted to do a fairy castle. Was I talking about that earlier in stream, or was that in my head? I, I'm planning on building like a small castle, like a all on one, maybe like a 30 by 20 kind of lot. Fairy castle was what I wanted to try and build. Um, so, just memeing the hedge maze? Okay, good. I never know. As you know, people really recommend hedge mazes a lot to me, so. <laughs> I'm never sure if they're being serious when they say out of hedge maze. So I always approach it like they are being serious. <laughs> Um, in this case, you weren't, but... <laughs> are there hedgy roses? There are roses! I don't know what I want to do. I'm, I want to look at Get Together and the debug landscaping from Get Together to, like, fill in some of the, like, extra rest of the lot, you know? Um, okay. Front lamps are uneven. They're not. They are correct. Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> They're in the same spot. So are those. Um, maybe you're seeing it from a, a different angle and thinking it's uneven. Also, guys, I know that we're joking, but let's just be really careful when you sit here uh, yelling things about fairies confirmed, fairies confirmed. Oh my god, Simsy leaked fairies. Let's just make sure that the general public is aware that fairies are not confirmed. Simsy did not leak fairies, and they're making a joke. <laughs> there are, there is no fairy pack. Um, people are, people are uh, just saying that because they're making jokes about being excited about the idea of a pack like that. There's no such thing. So before you go and get your hopes up, they're, they're just making jokes is what the chat is doing. Okay. Um, there are, there are no fairies, sadly. Um, okay. Um, Hope I'll put gators in that moat. I will. I will. That is very much the vibes that I'm going for. Should I get some big trees like this to put around in the corners of the lot? And like fill in some of this stuff? I don't know. I like the idea of that to like fill in more of the grounds. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't done any giveaways yet, no, because I keep refreshing in the creator network to see if my code is there, and it's not. So I don't have any codes for this pack yet, because like they're not, they haven't given it to me yet. Game code pending, check back soon. They haven't even given me a code for me yet. I, I bought the pack, obviously, as we know. They haven't even sent out codes, like, for creators to have the pack. Um, they've been very slow going with the codes this time around, so... Um, the pack's been out for hours. I don't really understand why it takes them so long because it didn't used to. So I don't, I find it kind of confusing like what changed now to make it take longer for them to get the codes out to people. Um, I don't understand why they could do it faster before and like now they can't basically is, is my question. Um, and you would think that it would be like massive priority to get people the codes for the kits on the day of the kit release because this is when like all the hype is happening. Obviously I just buy it, like it doesn't matter to me, but a lot of creators can't afford to just buy it. And if they want to make content on it, um, that's kind of the deal, you know? <laughs> so, um, no, I don't have any codes. I don't have any codes. So I'm, don't worry, don't feel like, oh, I shouldn't have bought it yet in case you could win. I'm only gonna have like one code and I don't even have, I don't have it yet. And I don't know when it'll come. Hopefully by tomorrow's stream we'll have it. And I keep refreshing. So I'll let you know as soon as it pops up, um, but there are no codes. So unfortunately, I can't listen to this. Okay. Um, 
I don't really like this front entrance anymore. I think I might try and get a debug fence that's maybe a bit fancier to use for these pieces. I don't know. Something more grand. You know? Um, I'm just looking around generally at like all the stuff from debug. I don't think that really matches, but are there new fences? Yeah, there are, but not in debug for this one. Um, okay, see like this kind of thing. That's a little broken, but the reason I'm talking about debug is because this goes right up to the edge of the lot and you can't put fences uh, up at the edge of the lot. You can only use debug fake fences at the edge of the lot. So. Um, no, not that one. No, no, no. Okay. I don't really know how I want to do this. I'm really overthinking the exterior. I know that. <gasps> Sorry. That was very dumb of me. Sorry. Now everybody's gonna panic and yell. Uh oh. <laughs> I just wanted to get rid of that. It's not hard <laughs> to fix. Um, Dusty's actually eight months and funny and Cox and Cream and Selena, thank you for the subs. Um, it really is not a big deal. It's okay. <laughs> Nobody panic. Um, yikes. Let's just save quick. Okay. Um, so I guess I keep looking at debug. I don't know how I want to lay this out. I think the moat is what's like really throwing me. I hate to say it, but I just don't know how to landscape around the moat. It's like giving, it's more natural, I guess, out here around the moat. And that wasn't really what I was going for with the build. So having the moat is kind of making it hard for me to figure out how I want to lay this out. Um, I don't know. I really, really did not want to do vines on the building. I know that the chat really wants that. They've made that abundantly clear, but I didn't really want to do vines on it. Um, I mean, I think if we just did landscaping kind of like what they have out here, like if we just got bushes kind of like what they've got going on in the environment and we filled it all in. No, we don't have an inspo pick. <laughs> the inspo pick was Legos. I'm not kidding, it was a picture of a Lego castle, which looks nothing like this, obviously. <laughs> um, and is not, uh, there's, we're not using that at this point. There's no landscaping on a Lego castle, obviously. So um, there is no Ispo pick. <laughs> um, cute little mushrooms. Yeah, we could use some of that from Cottage Living. Yeah, I probably will add in a bunch of that once we're filling in some more of these bushes. Um, English Manor vibes, rose bushes and paths. Yeah, but the, the moat takes up so much space. There's not really room to do like formal gardens with paths and stuff like that because of the moat. So we have to pick if you want the moat or if you want like formal gardens. Um, I don't know. Um, hmm. Everyone's kind of team moat, so. <laughs> we can do another castle another time that has more formal gardens. It's not like this is the only time we're ever gonna build a castle in The Sims, you know? Especially now that we have an entire castle pack. Do the moat just on the front? Oh no, for it to be a true moat, it needs to go all the way around. It's very important to me that the moat goes all the way around. I, you guys, if you're new to the stream, you might not know this, but um, our community has sort of like a long-standing meme about moats. They joke about how we should add a moat to every single one of our builds, oftentimes. Um, and it's, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a thing that people always talk about. And 
now this is the like our time to shine because now after all of this there's actually a moat like we we have a castle pack like if we're gonna do a moat now is the time you know this is like the one time the moat is relevant it makes sense <laughs> it's not weird <laughs> um so we want to have one that's kind of the idea if this becomes kind of like a balcony do you think it would be bad I don't know. Yeah, the game is being really laggy right now. It's not good. Um, I don't know, but like with the wood, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Would be an easy access point for invaders. Yeah, but they, they could draw this up like the other one. It's the same as the drawbridge in the front. I don't know if I like that. Maybe I don't like it. Maybe I make this into windows and we just leave it blank in the back. Perhaps that is the way. I don't know. I don't know. I'm overthinking it. <laughs> Super and Steffi, thank you for the subs. Um, it together again. Do we have kitchens? Yeah, they're in the basement. This is gonna be the kitchen and there's servant quarters and there's a dungeon. So what's the music? It's the Sims, uh, Sims medieval soundtrack. Do you like it? <laughs> it is in fact the Sims medieval soundtrack. Um, these are the flags that we were talking about earlier. stone round balcony. I mean, we could do something like that too. But now we know people are worried about invaders. I don't know if it's a good idea. Okay, let me just put this like... Okay. The more little plain bushes we can get, the better. Okay. A wishing well actually would be kind of cool. I wonder where we would put it. Probably out, like in the back somewhere. Like out here. I assume. Something like that, maybe. I think. Okay, a floating bush. Um, that one is floating a little bit, but you just gotta not think about it too much. It, the, the thing is, right, we're playing The Sims 4. Our options, they're limited. We can only do so much. Well, should be inside the walls, you think so? We could do that. It might be kind of fun if they had a well, like, accessible, but I don't like the grass on it. So, I don't know if I want to do that. Oh my god, the game is lagging so much. It hates it. It actually hates it. Oops. Okay, I think the outside is good for it though. I'm okay with it outside. It's like old and forgotten, you know? I may have to close and reopen the game again because it actually can't handle it. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. Why is it so laggy? I think my PC is just struggling today. Um, I don't even know if it's the game's fault. I think my computer is just having a hard time today. Um, is that a moat? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you for asking. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I have a small door hidden on the side that goes nowhere. What, this? That goes to the basements. And those don't go nowhere. Those go inside. This goes into the door that accesses the basements. 
Um, I did just save about two seconds ago, you guys, so I ask that you don't panic. I am gonna, cl I think I'll close the whole game though and try and reload and see if we can get it to fix. Um, so, anyway, let's close and, and go again. No, we're not basing off any real castle, Courtney. I, the original inspo pick was a Lego castle, but it doesn't, obviously doesn't look like that anymore. So, um, we are <laughs> not really, um, not really any real life castle things happening. <laughs> so, think the moat needs a moat? Oh, like double, wow. I don't think it's the moat making the game laggy. I think the game's just struggling today. But it's okay. We'll get through it. We're building in Windenburg. It's the world from Get Together. I'll show you the lot once the game opens again. Um, there are creator codes. Yeah, Crystal, you don't have to use mine. Uh, I encourage you to do some experimenting. See if a creator that you like has one. There's like a hundred people that have creator codes, but I don't think there's a master list. But uh, in the promo code box at checkout, you just type... Lil Simsy or, you know, whatever, someone else's. Uh, and then it, it doesn't give you a discount, but it does pay 5% of your purchase to a creator. Um, so, it, you know, the Sims EA makes less money on the pack. A creator makes some money on the pack. Um, so you don't have to do that, but if you want to, you can. No, we didn't crash. The game was struggling. So I, I tried closing and reopening it to see if it would help. Um, can we use Dan's? Dan doesn't have a creator code for uh, for EA. He has a Fortnite creator code in the Epic Game Store, but he doesn't have an EA creator code. Um, anyway, you should use someone's at least. Look at it from Manage Worlds. Yes, my code is just Lil Simsy, just my username. Um, you just type Lil Simsy in the promo code box at checkout. Again, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Dan's code on, on the Epic Game Store is Duck Dan. <laughs> Um, you don't have to use that either. That's not on EA. Um, that's just on the Epic Store. So, he doesn't have an EA creator code. Um, he plays Fortnite enough. I don't think they care how much you play Fortnite. I think they just care that you have followers when you apply for an Epic creator code. But I don't really know how it works, um, as a person who doesn't have an Epic creator code. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, Dan is in the EA Creator Network now, but he is not, um, he doesn't have a code. They didn't give them to everybody. They're rolling out more. I think they're planning on rolling out a ton more in the next couple weeks of creator codes, but I don't know who. And they're, like, under embargo, so those people can't talk about it yet. Um, should we use some of these big flowers? Ooh, what if I did that? We did a lot of like sizing up of these pretty like big red flowers, perhaps. Put some around. Dan mostly plays Dead by Daylight. Um, he streams also, and he mostly plays Dead by Daylight. And they accepted him into the EA Creator Network recently. But again, he doesn't get um, like he doesn't have a creator code or anything. That's separate. Um, because they're like doing a beta program of it and stuff. So, yeah, and you don't have to use, this is what I'm saying, when you guys keep asking um, about this, but like, me and Dan, we share money, so. <laughs> doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We don't get like special, you know, kickbacks from EA because so many people use the code. They don't care about how many, I don't think. Um, so I'm not going to get like extra if more people use it. doesn't matter. So you don't need to worry about that at all. Um, and if you want to support Dan, well, you're in luck. <laughs> we have a joint bank account. <laughs> um, okay. No, the codes only work on The Sims. They don't work on all EA games. Like I was saying, it's like a beta program. So they're they're testing it with The Sims right now with the intention of rolling it out to other EA games later, but they haven't done that yet. Um, it's so they, the creator codes only work on Sims titles on, on only the EA app as well. And it only ever will work on the EA app because they can't like, they're paying money out of pocket for the purchase when you buy stuff from like their store. If you buy it on like the Xbox store, they can't do that, you know? So it doesn't work on other stores, but... Um, 
anyway. Well, Origin is the EA app, you guys. Origin is the EA app before they made the EA app. Origin is like the outdated version. It's the same thing, it's just a different name. And I mean, it's obviously the EA app looks totally different, but it's the EA store, <laughs> you know? It's the same thing. Um, okay. Origin, people that play on Mac still have Origin because they haven't rolled out the EA app on Mac yet. That's why they're asking about that. Um, okay. Um, okay. I think the little flowers are helping it. Maybe. Maybe. Um, should I put more there? I don't know. I don't like that one either. What do you guys think about the landscaping? Is it okay? Do I put, maybe I could put some, hmm. Should I line this a little bit more with some trees? Potentially, I'm okay with that. Oh, you think the trees are a bit off. Okay, that's not good. Because here I was thinking about trying to get more. I think the trees help. But what do I know? Come here. Two over, over two, over two, over two. Okay. Um, yeah, there'll be small windows on the sides too. I just haven't put them in yet because I wanted to put the trees down, Ghost. I didn't know where I wanted the side windows to be until after I had put like extra landscaping in, but now that we have landscaping in, it's like easier to see where you want the windows to go. Does that make sense? Are those the wrong height? Why is that? It's raising up. Oh, because that's over a staircase. That's really weird. Okay, well. I don't know. It should be fine on this part. Yeah, this part's fine. It's because of the stairs. Um, okay. Yeah, I like the windows in this kit a lot. The windows in this kit are really nice. There's a way more complete cut, like selection of build items than I was expecting there to be. Yeah, we'll furnish it, we'll furnish it. We just haven't done it yet. Will I use the windows often? I mean, these are, these are very specific, these windows. They're good for like a very specific circumstance. Um, but I don't know. They're fun for stuff like this. They're fun for big old things and stuff, you know? Can I show off the items of the pack? Not very easily, Heli, because they're all build items. So you're looking at things like this freeze, this fence, this staircase, this wallpaper, all these windows. There isn't like an easy list because it's all a bunch of build items. Um, if you're looking for them, you can see them in the game. In game, there's like a list of all of them. And I did make a YouTube video where I went through every individual item, but um, hopefully you can find stuff that way. Okay, sometimes these uh, pictures that I see, the Lego castle in particular, they had like flags on top of the castle. Should we do that again? I don't know if that one's good. That's probably the best that we can do. So these are from Get Together. They are not from the kit, unfortunately. The kit doesn't have any furniture. The kit is all build stuff. So like walls and things. No, there's not flying pride flags. Uh, there's only the, the wall pride flag. 
I wish that they would add more. I think that would be really cool if they added like some pride flags that looked like that. Um, or like some other sizes and, you know, different kinds. Maybe like a smaller one, maybe like a, I don't know, like a tapestry kind of style big one might be kind of fun to have. Because when you size up the pride flag in game, it, it's like, not I don't know, it's like too far off the wall and like the holes in the sides are too big. So I wish that they had, um, had done more. Yeah, the kit art that we voted on had flags, Alice, but bear in mind, that was a generic concept image. We didn't vote on every single one of those items. <laughs> and and what they probably determined is that adding furniture was dumb because that would mean that they wouldn't be able to have as many windows or like uh, build items. And I think what makes this kit doable is the fact that it has enough build items, enough windows, enough walls, enough different trim pieces for it to work. So anyway, I'm glad to be honest. I don't want them to have furniture in this. I think furniture would be a disappointment. Um, I don't think that would be helpful at all for me. So, because you can do this with base game furniture. I mean, obviously I've used a couple things, like this is from Get Famous, but these are base game. I'm gonna use base game chairs in the dining room. Um, it would have been cool as a stuff pack maybe, but alas, here we are. <laughs> there is, um, a couple other things. I don't know where one would put an item such as this. I don't really know how many of these you would have or like where you would put them. I don't know what to do with them really, but there's these things, eavesdropping llamas. And then we have this old crest as well. Um, what lot this is on? This is a 64 by 64 lot in Windenburg. So, typically under a balcony. Yeah, but these are a little bit different than that. They had in the picture, they had them just out. No, there's not new music. I'm playing music from The Sims Medieval right now. Um, at the moment. <laughs> the music that you're hearing is Sims Medieval. Um... Oh, that can't be good. Is that not centered then? Huh. Okay. How is that then? Oh, that's fine. Is this like the Sims Medieval? The pack? No, because the packs just build stuff. The packs just like, you know, walls. Um, so Sims Medieval is a full game. Um, but this is just a build set, because it's just a kit. I wonder if we could put this crest thing, like, on the fronts of these towers, maybe. Are those all equal height? Yeah. That might be okay. Okay. I feel good about this. We looked at the goth kit in my YouTube video, Winnie, but not on stream today. We've been only building today. I didn't like touch the kit, the, the cast kit, I mean. Um, is this all from a kit? Yeah, all the build stuff that you're seeing outside. Windows, walls, kit. No, The Sims Medieval is not free. Um, the Sims Medieval is actually kind of expensive. So, <laughs> it's a little old. It probably shouldn't be as expensive as it is. Game code pending! Ugh, I'm so frustrated at them for this. I still don't have the, the castle kit codes. They still haven't even given me my code. I had to buy it. I mean, I, I always do, but I don't have the giveaway codes for, for the pack yet because they haven't given them to me. I do have a couple giveaway codes for not this pack. Um, so, we can do one of them today, maybe. Uh, to make it up to you. I can do it right now. Um, but there's a person called Comfy Sammy. Their birthday's in a couple days, and they wanted to celebrate by buying a couple codes for us <laughs> to do giveaways of, which is very generous of them. They didn't have to do that. Um, so I don't have a code for these kits yet, because you can't buy them, and EA hasn't given me my codes yet. They said they would. They haven't. Um, probably won't get them until tomorrow at this point. Um, but we, they have given, they bought a code for the tiny living stuff pack. 
And Tiny Living, honestly, that stuff pack probably couldn't be more opposite from Giant Castle. But <laughs> um, if you wanted to uh, enter for a chance to win Tiny Living, <laughs> Um, I'll tell you a word to type in the chat. This is a global code, but it's PC and Mac only. So it's not on console, it's global. And you can type the word tiny in the chat for a chance to, to win. Um, just type that word tiny in the chat to enter. Um, and happy birthday to Comfy Sammy who bought these codes. That was very generous of them. I won't do all of them today. Um, we'll space them out, but um, they gave us a couple. So that was very nice of them. And I'm sorry that I don't have the codes for this pack yet. I'm kind of sad about it. <laughs> I feel like a liar because I said in my YouTube video, I'm gonna have the giveaway codes, but they said I would and it still says your code is pending. Oh well. Um, oh well, but all I gotta do is type that word tiny in the chat for a chance to win the new pack. No, not the new pack. Oh my god, liar. The tiny living pack. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> type the word tiny for a chance to win. You don't have to be subscribed. No, anybody can enter. Um, and you don't have to spam it either. Every person only gets one entry. You could type it 20 times. You still only get one entry. So don't worry about spamming it or anything. Um, all you gotta do is type the word tiny once. But if it makes you feel better to type it a couple times to just know that it worked, I don't blame you. Um, <laughs> but everybody gets equal shot. Everybody has an equal shot. All people in chat, as long as you type the word tiny in chat. Um, I call my cat tiny. My two kittens, shrimp and tiny. Her name is actually Sunny, but she gets called tiny because she's about this big. No, she's not. She's a normal sized cat. She's about, well, normal sized kitten. She's about seven pounds now. So, <laughs> but I call her tiny. <laughs> yeah, no one has, um, no one has their codes yet, forget me. It's not just me, I know, it's everybody. Um, I, what I don't understand though, I'm sorry to complain, but I don't understand how the codes are not out yet because back in the day, they used to be out really fast. So I don't know what's changed in the meantime, but oh well. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. Um, is she tiny or a shrimp huge? It's both, it's both. Shrimp weighs nine pounds now. He weighs like a whole half pound more than Snap, who is my 15 year old cat and he's seven months old. Anyway, type the word tiny in the chat for a chance to win the tiny living stuff pack, which is one of my favorite stuff packs. Uh, the word tiny in the chat is all you gotta do, type tiny to win. Um, and if we don't end up getting the game codes for the kids today, I'm gonna keep refreshing like constantly. I just, my hopes are not high. Um, we'll do the giveaway codes for the kids tomorrow if we have to, um, which is really annoying and sad, but it's not, I, you can't even buy them is the problem. Like you can't even buy the codes if you wanted to. Um, and you can't gift stuff on the EA app anymore. Like it's, you know, whatever. Um, but anyway, type the word tiny. I'll draw the winner here in probably a couple seconds. I'll give you one last shot to type that word in the chat. Um, and then the winner in five, four, Three, two, one. Draw entrant is Emily Explodes. Emily, are you okay? <laughs> Emily Explodes uh, is the winner of that of that giveaway code. <laughs> let me um, let me pull up your whispers so I can send it to you. Um, and then just let me know if you could reply once you've seen it um, and download it. Uh, that would be great. Just so I know that you've got the code from me. I'll send it to you. Whispers are like Twitch's DMs, basically. Um, but hopefully you enjoy it. I like that pack, it's really fun. So, and thanks again to Comfy Sammy for buying those codes for us. Totally did not have to do that. Um, that's a fun username. <laughs> they replied! Emily has it, nice. Okay. Um, Emily explodes with joy for winning. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, should we start working on the inside a bit more then and come back? Because the exterior is throwing me off. I can't, I can't do it. I have to skip that Jesus song too. I can't handle that either. Um, <laughs> um, let's see, maybe we should do the dining room. Because that seems like fun, right? I think so. Let's do that. Okay. Um, would I recommend Tiny Living? I, I would. I really like Tiny Living. Oh my God, it's more. Okay. Um, where's the kitchen going? In the basement. We're putting the kitchen in the basement next to where the servants' bedrooms are. I don't think that um, the queen wants the kitchen up here in this old building. What's under the throne? Oh, this is an item. It's actually sized down too. By default, it's bigger. Um, that's an item from Get Famous. It's like a set piece. 
from Get Famous. Um, but it's kind of fun, right? <laughs> I kind of like it. Um, it's a very huge set piece. I guess we could if we wanted to. There are... It's the wedding pack that has a runner. Um, I don't know... Yeah, the colors of the wood are not really speaking to me on this one. I feel like I don't like it as... Uh, I don't know. Does it still work size down? I actually don't think that that uh, throne works at all. Because it's just a set piece. It's like it's like a set piece from the acting career in Get Famous. I don't think it's a real chair at all. I think the game thinks it's like a sculpture. Um, so it doesn't work size down, but doesn't work normal size, so. <laughs> um, it's okay. It's all about the vibes, you know? That's the main thing. Yeah, it's like background decor. I don't even think they can use it in the acting career. Okay, this is the problem with these tables, is that... Oh, let me look at vampires. Yeah, the problem with these tables is that the wood doesn't match. How ridiculous is this huge banquet table? So ridiculous, right? It's kind of good though. I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> okay. We could space the chairs out a bit more potentially if we wanted to. They're not gonna be, the problem is, right, we won't be able to get them like evenly placed. Maybe we will. Hmm. Yeah, you can't really do it like that because they don't fit. I think it's funny to have a lot of chairs because we're trying to pretend this is like, it's royal, you know? So I think it's kind of fun to have like a ton of chairs, way more chairs than you really need. I can't even raise that up. Um, they have a lot of guests, you know? So I think it's kind of nice, maybe. Maybe. Um, there are some things like that. I don't really like that, though. Yeah, it's like a banquet hall. They're, they're throwing a huge event. And we're inviting, like, so many people to this. Okay. I don't think that there are longer curtains than these, unfortunately. I think these are the longer curtains, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, these are the smaller curtains. So that's not so great. You can't really size it up either. It's not only the base game in the new kit, no. We've used quite a few packs in this build, unfortunately. Yeah, those floating is not really perfect. Like, that's not really what my preference would be, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, maybe they don't have a extra door there and the door's only from the library to get outside. I think I want to use the fancier chandelier too now that we have the table in here. Before I wasn't sure what I wanted to be in here, but we could get like one of the really big fancy ones. Did I try the get famous curtains? Um, I thought I did. Now I'm second guessing myself. Oh yeah, we were looking at these. These are, um, they're also very fancy, but in like a red and silver type of way and not really what I want out of it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking all of. That's why I deleted, I'm distracted. That's why I deleted the door because I wanted to put a fireplace there. I don't know if any of these fireplaces will be good. I think ideally it would be nice to have a fireplace like in the middle, but... Um, I don't really like 
like it in. Gotta put my, my curtains back too. Won't they need this door for servants? Oh, maybe, maybe. I mean, not really, but we could. They could bring the food around this way. Um, the cats and dogs one I don't think is good. The cottage living one is stone, but a different kind of stone, which sort of bothers me. Um, so I don't know. I wonder if I could close this off and put the fireplace like on a diagonal. None of them really work. None of it is really what I want. You got Mexican food for dinner, Christine? Oh, I'm jealous. I'm really hungry. I think I might order dinner tonight. I'm feeling inspired. Okay, I don't think that's very regal. Hmm. We could also potentially, I mean like, you could delete this and put the fireplace centered with everything. And that could maybe be cool too. None of the fireplaces are like, the kind of really nice stone that I am looking for. See, that's not really like, I don't know. I guess it being centered could be good though. And then we have some nice base game portrait type stuff. That'll ruin the exterior. What, this one? I don't think so. I think it looks fine from the exterior still. Maybe the vampires one. Oh. Oh, that stone color is okay. I think that matches well enough. Should I scoot these over? No. It's a little close to the chairs. We could potentially do like a little quarter tile scoot if we wanted to. They are no longer centered in the room, but they have more space. I don't know if that's better or not. I can't really tell. They have to be cozy. I mean, this is the this is the thing, right? I don't really care if they're too close to the fireplace. I'm I'm letting people get in my head about that. There, this is a special event sort of room where they put, like they would cram tables and chairs in here for the special event. It's not like, you know, meant to be the most easy to walk around, you know? So I think it's okay. Dark wood tables. Okay, I prefer the dark wood tables. People in chat preferred the runner. So we're being thrown in a lot of different directions right now that I'm not really sure what is best to use. Sized up picture. Well, again, this one's already sized up. Um, I don't know, everyone's scaring me. We're never gonna finish this build. <laughs> now they want the dark wood after I just did all this. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this is what I had originally and I liked it better anyway, so that's fine. Um, that is fine. When did I start this build? Oh, just today, Courtney. I guess like about three hours ago we started it. Um, we finished most of the exterior now and we're primarily doing the interior. We're not gonna be able to finish today because I'm probably gonna get off stream soon-ish here. Um, but. Okay. Yeah, I think the dark does look better. We'll get some pretty, like I'm sort of picturing on this like big formal centerpieces right down the 
middle. That's kind of what I was thinking we would do. Is that table base game? Yeah, this one is. Um, this is just a regular plain base game table. That's kind of what I was thinking we would have. Florals lining in. Okay. Um, Kitten, we did one giveaway, but for not these packs, <laughs> because annoyingly, my game code is still pending. <laughs> they haven't given me the code. No one has access, not just me. Um, nobody has codes from EA yet for this pack. Not even like for creators. I bought the pack. They usually send out codes for packs. I They're always kind of slow with kits, but not this slow. Um, that's why I usually just buy it. But yeah, no one has the codes yet, so. Um, okay. Okay. Can I check how much it costs? We could play a guessing game. Do you guys want to play a guessing game? How much do you think it costs? I'll show you. This is the full thing. Obviously, it's not furnished yet. It's got some relatively expensive windows and doors. Um, I think... A hundred and five thousand. I think it's a hundred and five thousand for just the exterior. Okay, should we check? The final number. This bill cost. Ah! Oh my god, I couldn't have been more wrong. Two hundred and seventy three thousand dollars? Oh my god. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> oh no. It's not even furnished. It's 273,000 unfurnished. Oh, this place is going to be so expensive. I mean, it is a castle. Oh, it's full of knight statues. Oh, there's like eight knight statues. That help. That doesn't help. I forgot that we have all those knight statues in there. Yeah, that makes sense. Those are all like 8,000 simoleons each. And there's how many total already? Yeah, there's six in here and then two in here. Yeah, and there are 8,200 simoleons. See, look. Well, that's not gonna cut it, is it? <laughs> we got like all this money in just knight statues alone. How much does this thing cost? 3,000, okay. Yeah, it adds up. And some of the windows and doors, like this door, oops, she's broken. This door is really expensive. This door is like 1740. So, anyway. Yeah, the furnished price is gonna be, maybe it'll be like close to 400,000 furnished. This is not a starter castle. Castles are expensive, it is what it is. We can't have any people with no money buying a castle. <laughs> Anyway, this is uh, fascinating, to say the least. <laughs> I'll show you around. I'll probably get off stream here in a few minutes, but I'll show you what we're working with in a minute. Um, Queen of Boots, thank you for the gifted subs, and Sims, and Willow, and Led, and Joe, and Coffee, and Uncha, and, and Mina, and Anonymous. Thank you all so much for those subs and bits. Um, this is the exterior. So we have like this cool gate, and you walk up through that over the moat, over this bridge to enter into the main building. Um, and there's kind of like a fence gate walls, big walls around most of the castle on the outside, as you can see. Um, in the back, we've got like a balcony and stuff. We're kind of working on the exterior still. Um, but on the inside, this is the throne room when you first come in, obviously. We've got a huge banquet hall that we're working on right now. Um, this is gonna be just like, probably put like a chess table in here, you know? This is the library. And then upstairs, um, there's four bedrooms that will belong to guests and only one bathroom because it's old medieval. So they only have one bathroom up here. And then on the top floor is the queen's chambers. She's gonna have like a living room, second living room, her own bathroom, and then her bedroom. And then she has access to these upper, upper floors. And you might be thinking, Kayla, where's the kitchen? Well, you have to come down here and go into the walls. And then in the walls, you can access the servant's quarters. This will be the kitchen and the servants will have their own small bathroom downstairs too. And then back here, if you come this way into the back, there's gonna be a door here, I haven't put it yet. Oh, also I need to move these now because I'm doing this, but um, 
there's going to be a door here, and then you're going to access the dungeon. And there's two dungeon rooms here, and there's some dead people in there. So. <laughs> and that is the layout. So in total, it's a five bed three bathroom house. Oh, I guess, I guess actually it's like eight beds because we'll have bedrooms down here. So you can have the butler live down here. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and maybe you could have, you know, I was going to say your toddler live down here, but that's terrible. Don't even joke about that. Yeah, we'll finish tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll come in and we'll work on doing all the rest of the furnishing. Um, and then get it like finished and ready to go up on the gallery. Um, and I'm kind of excited about it. I like this kit. I, I liked the kit when I was just looking through all of the items, but now having built like a full exterior with it, there's way more variety of windows than I was expecting. There's enough like decor and detail pieces where I feel like you can genuinely do something quite cool with this. Um, and I, I'm very pleasantly surprised by, by the kit. Um, I was worried that they would be, wouldn't be able to do like a full build set in a kit this small. Um, I still wish that it had a handful more things in it, but I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by what it comes with. So, <laughs> um, it's a, it's a very interesting kit. Obviously it's very specific, like not everybody's going to want this, but, um, it's cool. So. Oh no, I don't like it more than the book nook kit. Don't, don't get it confused. This is not like my favorite kit. I like the kit. I'm happy with the kit, but this is very specific. So it's good for like building castles, but it's not going to be good for like my everyday gameplay. You know, most of my Sims aren't going to have things like this. Um, so it's fun to have, but it's, it's not like a necessity must have, you know. Um, this also, I think it pairs better if you do have other packs. If you have vampires and get together specifically, I think that those packs pair very nicely with this um, for like extra furnishings and extra decor and, and, and like the worlds are fun to build castles in. Because like building a castle in Willow Creek just isn't the same vibes, you know. So if you have other packs, you might also like this better. Um, you mean to tell me your next not so berry gen isn't gonna have a castle? <laughs> um, you know, maybe not. <laughs> um, <laughs> but so there, there are a couple things. I think that the flooring is pretty versatile. I think that um, the wallpaper is pretty versatile. I think that some of the windows could be good for certain things. Like maybe if you have a university and you want to do like a cool old school university, this might be nice. Um, but most of this isn't perfect for like your average build. There are some swatches that I really like. I haven't used them yet, but in particular, this mossy swatch of, swatch of this paver, I think is amazing. Like, look at that. Isn't that so good? So the mossy paver swatch, there's a mossy swatch of the wallpaper too that I just think is so pretty. I am obsessed with that. That to me is so beautiful. It's like the best swatch out of all of them. I'm going to do tomorrow for YouTube. I, as long as I start it early enough in the morning, I should be able to get it up tomorrow on YouTube. Um, but I want to do like a fairy castle tomorrow and I want to use that for it. So, um, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I really like it, but there's like a mossy swatch on everything. Look at it there. Isn't that nice? Good stuff. Good stuff. Anyway, so that's the plan for tomorrow, I think. Um, couple little life updates, you guys, before I go. Um, I'm refreshing again. I don't think it's going to be there, but I'll check for the code again. Game code pending. Ugh, I'll do it tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow they'll have the code sent out so we can do the giveaways tomorrow. Um, but uh, so, so I had been talking for weeks now about the charity event that we were doing at St. Jude this week on Monday, uh, but unfortunately we've had to cancel it. Um, the hospital security staff has asked us to not do it on Monday because of the really horrible weather that's been happening in Memphis. Um, it's been like so icy, they can't even get into the office. So there's about not been like any time to prepare. And they've also had to push a bunch of other events that are like uh, urgent and time sensitive that they kind of need the space to use on Monday for. Um, so unfortunately we've had to, to, I don't want to say cancel because we're going to reschedule. We just haven't rescheduled it yet. We're looking at trying to do it 
in like the beginning of May or the very end of April, which is like the beginning of our fundraising event that we do every year. Um, it's not that, it's so So the thing is, Beans, I always do it virtually. Um, what we were planning on doing, what was like so cool about it is that we had like production staff and we were gonna do this really cool like Jeopardy game and my parents were gonna be there. Um, so it's it's not the, like, I, I want to save that and do it like the special event when we can do the special event in person. Um, Cause we have like so many fun things planned. Like the, the CEO was gonna come in you guys. Like, like it was gonna be like, big, like Rick Shadyak was gonna pop by and like, I was gonna show him The Sims 4. Like, I'm not like this. So anyway, we wanna still do that, you know? Like, I would like to still do that. We're just gonna try and find a time that, um, hopefully it's not so snowy. <laughs> um, so that's not ideal, but maybe, maybe it'll work out for the best if we do it closer to our fundraising event anyway, cause then it can kind of like kick off the thing. And so it might end up working out and being better this way. It just kind of stinks. We've been planning it for like months, you know? Um, so it, I was pretty sad about that this morning. Um, they messaged me and they were like, we might have to cancel it. And I was like, no. And then like an hour later, they were like, yeah, they just asked us to cancel it. And I was so sad. <laughs> um, but it's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll make it better. If we have time, it's just, you know, the weather's out of everybody's control. You know, that it's been a weird fluke thing across the whole country. The weather has been horrible everywhere. So um, but I, I think that what we'll do, we'll, we'll end up making it better this way. So we'll be able to use this to our advantage to make something cooler out of it, right? That's what I think. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I'll be here this week. I won't be traveling, so <laughs> there's that. Um, and part of the problem is that we can't, like, reschedule it that easily because, like, my parents are coming. And so I, I can you know, be a bit more flexible, but like my mom can't get off work that easily to just like push it, you know, cause we, she's already done this. We've already taken off these days. So it's just not, it's not really doable cause we've like got all these other people involved. Um, but anyway, that's the update. I'm sorry, everybody. I was pretty sad about it too, but we'll, we'll do something better. We'll use this to our advantage to make it better. You know, um, things happen for a reason, right? If we look at it that way, maybe it makes us feel better about it. <laughs> So we'll be here tomorrow. We'll finish this build tomorrow. Um, and then the other fun thing is that on Saturday, we're playing Among Us. Um, some of our uh, Sims friends, you know, the group we always play Among Us with, we're playing Among Us on Saturday. So um, that'll be really fun too. We have that to look forward to as well. Um, I know everybody gets really excited about that. So <laughs> Among Us on Saturday, um, we're going to play our little murder game. <laughs> It'll be really good. <laughs> um, the stream tomorrow will be at this time. So I stream at four o'clock Eastern time. It's currently seven. So about three hours ago, but tomorrow, if that helps you. Um, and that'll be the same time on Saturday as well. Um, but what are my nails? Oh, I just painted them that color. I don't know. Max is my shirt, actually. That wasn't on purpose. I painted them that color because I was uh, painting them to match my, um, well, actually to match Dan's shirt yesterday because we took engagement photos yesterday with a photographer, which I know sounds so funny when I say it out loud because we've been married for two years, but... We never took engagement photos with like a real photographer, so. <laughs> I can show you, where did I put it? Let me pull it back up so I can show you what I am talking about. I'm trying to find the link again. Okay, let me see what I could do. I can show you another one. Cause I know some people are gonna, weren't here maybe and you wanna see it. Um, let me see. Which ones did I show you? Was it this one? I think so. Oh, I forgot I downloaded it. That's easier. I'll just open it that way. Okay, hold on everybody. Hold on. Here is the photo that I was showing you earlier. I have more, but I don't know. I she So I did the photo shoot literally yesterday right? And she said, I'll get you some preview photos in 24 hours and the rest of them in a week. I thought the preview photos would be like, maybe like three to five photos. She sent me like 15 yesterday. I was so excited. I was like, how did you do that so fast? I, we took the photos at like, from like five to 6 PM. And then at like 9.30, she's like, I have your previews. And there was like 15 pictures in there. That was so fun. Um, her name is Sydney Mormon Photography. Uh, if you wanted uh, to check out her stuff. So, uh, didn't realize he was so tall. Yeah, he's a lot taller than me. Anyway, they turned out pretty. I'm excited about it. So, <laughs> I have more, but I haven't showed them to you yet. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I 
um, that's my little life update <laughs> about yesterday. I was so nervous about taking them because I'm so awkward in pictures, but they actually turned out good. So I was happy about that. But we, I want them because I want to put them like, you know, people put that stuff on like save the dates and things for their wedding. So I want to have some like that. Um, and now I'm excited because we have these nice photos. So Mormon A-N, not O-N as well. Sydney Mormon is how it's spelled. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's the photographer's name. Um, let me go over and see who all is live then so we can find somebody to raid. Uh, I always raid a friend of mine after we get off stream and a lot of friends of mine are playing with the, the new pack. So this could be kind of fun. Um, we could go over and possibly raid someone who's building a castle. Um, and I am into the idea of that. Oh, actually, my friend Griffy, if Griffy is still alive, um, is a really fantastic builder um, and is building with the castle kit. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is gonna make mine look so bad. <laughs> let's go over and raid, let's go over and raid Griffy then. You are gonna be so excited when you see this. All of Griffy's builds are so cool. Um, so go over and say hello for me and I will catch you tomorrow and we will work some more on our own big giant thing. <laughs> you probably know Griffy because we play Among Us together, so you might recognize the name. Um, Griffy's is a tiny castle, it looks like, but I'm excited to see more of it. So um, have a great rest of your night, everybody, and I will catch you all tomorrow, okay? Thank you, love you, miss you, okay, bye! <laughs> and right now is sub streaming.